anyone hear me? I can't see anyone. Technical difficulties, can't see anybody. There, there we, we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love, gotta love live. There you go. I know. Video yeah. streaming, I guess, in this. That intro yeah. already sucks. Sorry, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Cult of Collectors. I am Charlie Rage with Raging Entertainment with. Jody from Steel's Racing 4Ks, John from Low IQ, my, I, sorry, IQ Media, and Jeff from GCAP Recap as our special guest. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me on, guys. This is great. Look, real, been looking forward to this all weekend, so thank you. And thank you for joining. Well, so great. how did your uh, channel become, you know, uh, GCAP Recap? <laughs> uh, I, I guess I should say back uh, back right as the pandemic started uh you know everything was shut down there wasn't a lot of things to really do um i was you know starting to do very pointless things like watching the entire series of 21 jump street and watch johnny depp's like hey know, i love that show he did that whole descent to him just like really not not caring and then you don't see him towards the end of the freaking series anyway because he's doing movies <laughs> yeah and he just shows up and he's like doesn't care you know he's he's like looking at the camera winking and i'm like wait wait, wait. like it was yeah great. yeah because when he made the uh, special appearance with his buddy from the show on the movie with jonah hill mm -hmm. i was like i mean was this even really the right platform for them because it wasn't meant to be a comedy right so I thought it was a little weird, but cool at the same time. Yeah, I'm I'm glad that he actually wanted because it sounded, you know, from from my research, it sounded like he wanted only maybe one season. At mm -hmm. season two on, he was like, you know, he became Johnny Depp that we know. Yeah, and he just wanted to split, you know, but he was contracted, so uh, you know they they brought him back, but he went from being like a nerdy kind of cop yeah. in the season one to just being like cool Johnny Depp, he was well, like a totally different character. Are you aware of who discovered Johnny Depp? No. Nicholas Cage. There you go. 
just in case you didn't know. <laughs> I, lo I love learning trivia like this, so I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. He, he's the reason that Johnny Depp is an actor, because... Johnny originally came to California to do the band thing, become a rock star and stuff like that, not even thought about acting. And yeah. from what I understand, Nicolas Cage happened to be at one of those shows that he was playing and said, like, have you even thought of going into acting? Because you have a look that could be on the screen, basically. And I guess he just kind of went with it and went from there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, knew, yeah, I knew about the, the band thing. Um, but yeah, and then he, then he went into acting. That's cool about Nick Cage. I didn't know. Oh that. yeah. So. I've always liked Nicolas Cage. Like, have I liked everything he's done? Not everything, <laughs> but, um, I Most would say my stuff. favorite, Most my favorite is Con Air. Oh, what was the movie? name of Johnny Depp's band? Anyways, do you remember the I name? I don't of that? know the name of the band he had back yeah. say then, but I'm trying, I'm trying to think For Hollywood was, vampires but... now, right? Mm. Or... Something like that. Yeah. yeah. But isn't, isn't the Hollywood Vampires, isn't that like a group of guys that get together? I mean, I know they play together, but isn't it kind of like a boys club kind of drink? In a way drink? it is. In a way yeah. it is. It's like a jam yeah. session that will come together, and whoever decides to, I guess, do the music is just there to do the music. Mm -hmm. It's like the new Hellfire Club or whatever. Have you, you've heard of oh, that? Oh, yeah, because you know. Johnny Depp and Marilyn Manson, they're actually good friends. Oh, what happened to Jody? Oh, oh. no, he dropped. Not it, a Johnny Depp fan. <laughs> Sorry, Jody. <laughs> you say you're not a giant. Yeah, I fan. I'm out here. Okay. Um. Oh, so you were asking me how I started the channel. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. No, it's this okay. is a good. It was a good conversation about the the uh, band and all that. Yeah. No, so um, I don't I don't know. I just I I get to uh, gather with a couple of my friends every week, and I'm always goofing, talking about movies, and just making jokes. So, um, Kenny Rogers had died. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, it was a pandemic, oh, yeah, so not right. to get heavy, everybody, you know, it was, it was bad, but people, you know, he's like a generational talent, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? So mm -hmm. everyone's heard of Kenny Rogers and he died and it was just, just about, bad. even if you're not a country fan, you knew who he was. Yeah. And it's just, you know, so I was, you know, I was telling them, I'm like, man, poor Kenny, you know, um, you know, there, there should be something done for him. And yes. I went back and watched six pack on YouTube. Oh, there you go. I started to write these notes down because it's supposed to be this wholesome movie. And I haven't seen this since I was a kid. Yeah. And I'm like, man, Kenny Rogers breaks like every law known to man, except yeah, for does. extortion in this. <laughs> so <laughs> I made a joke. I, I wrote down these notes and I almost did this like weird live review for them. And they were cracking up. And I was like, I don't know what, you know, I don't know when things are going to open again. I have some money. Maybe I'll just buy, you know, a camera. And I, I don't know, maybe I'll just do a YouTube video for them. Just for them. It was it was all just for them, just to goof around. And I just started to do more and more of them. And it was, you know, it was just movie reviews, but lesser movie reviews because I wanted to stand out. Um, but then the next thing I know, I just started to get more and more involved in it. I, mm -hmm. you know, I started to get into movie collecting. Uh, I've always bought movies. I've always collected movies. Yeah. But I just didn't talk about it on my channel. I'm like, this one of my, it sounds like I thought maybe people would think I'm bragging, like, oh, look at all these movies. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I don't, I I don't look at it as world. bragging. I don't yeah. look at it as bragging. I look at it as like, hey, yeah. like, since you love movies, I love movies. Look what I have. Maybe you see something you don't have that you would probably go out and get if it's, of course, out in the market. Mm -hmm. And yeah. sometimes it's a bitch to find certain movies that are out of print through like say eBay or Mercari. Mercari does a better job, I think, on pricing, if anything, for <laughs> what it's worth. Yeah. <laughs> I've never bought but anything they, on them. So are they trustworthy? I've never bought I have I've used Mercari many times and I have been satisfied most of the time. There is one movie that showed up that upset me and but I got a hold of the you know uh, seller and they were cool about it. They were cool about it. They weren't assholes about it. They said that they didn't realize that they put it as like new when the when it shows wear and tear, basically. Mm -hmm. And I explained that to them and they were cool about it. They went ahead and refunded me the money and everything and just said, go ahead and keep the movie. Like, sorry that I even pushed that button because it, it was supposed to be a different one. <laughs> right. right. So it was cool. Yeah. Jody, what happened? I don't know, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're there, and then it's just all John. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, I'm like, Jody heard Johnny Depp. He's like, I'm out. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk I'm about that. I'm over. I'm over it. <laughs> Too many pirates. Has, who's seen the Clifford trailer? I, I haven't. It yet. No. The Big Red Dog Clifford. Not yet. Still, no. still oh, it. the trailer? It actually looks like it'll be a decent movie. Kind of like Paddington. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought about when I saw they were going to make it. I was like, oh, it's going to be a little Paddington. That's going to be cute. Okay. It kind of, yeah. It kind of has that feel, the same feel that they did with Paddington, but instead, of course, the talking bear, it's a big ass red dog. Um, right. <laughs> but it looks good. It actually, I feel like I'm going to end up liking that movie. And I finally got caught up with Loki. Yeah, I saw the oh, yeah? yeah, saw the Snake Eyes trailer. Didn't realize it's a Snake Eyes movie till the yeah origin till the yeah till the title came up. That looks like crap. <laughs> it doesn't look the best. I think they could do better. They're just being well, lazy. Um, well. There's the whole thing that Snake Eyes. He's a white guy, not an Asian guy. Well, the guy who played Snake Eyes yeah. in the original movie is a white guy named Ray Porter, who played Darth Maul in Star Wars yeah. Episode One. But he's just, that's his origin in the cartoon. I mean, that's this, that's Snake Eyes' origin. He and was Toad. a, he I was, he, he was abandoned by his parents and he was raised on the streets of Japan and he learned yeah. to be a ninja. So that's, that's his whole backstory. So it doesn't make any sense. No, I know. I they, know what you're saying. Him. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it, it kind of gets on my nerves because um, the guy, Ray Porter, also played, and I think the character's name is Toad. Please correct me if I'm wrong, somebody. X Men. Toad? Toad, is that his yeah. name? Toad, yeah, yeah. Toad, Ray okay. Park, right? Yeah. Ray, Ray Park. Parker, Ray Parker, or something Ray Parker. like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Park. Yeah. Wait, not yeah. Ray Parker. That's Ghostbusters. Oh, Ray! <laughs> I think this is Ray Park. Ray Parker Jr. He wins. Yeah. <laughs> well, the guy who played Darth Maul is also him and Snake Eyes in the original yep. GI Joe movies that <clears throat> came out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's badass. I mean, he's uh, yeah, he does oh, all yeah. his own stuff. Yep, as, as well as that. And it, wasn't he in? Uh, I think he was in Chuck too, right? Wasn't he in Chuck? Like where he just Ooh. played himself? Like I mean, not himself, but he just. He might have been. I haven't seen Chuck, so I couldn't say for sure. Man. Oh, who here knows about the whole Dexter getting like a full Blu-ray set? Oh. Did, they already, did they already do That's that? I thought cool. they did that. No, they have them out on Blu-ray, but I'm talking an actual set, like like a box set. Uh, but but what like plans for after the new season airs? Is that what is that what they're asking about? Because that's what I'm oh, holding out for. Well, I don't know if it's because of that. It could be, of course. It's and probably I'm be- not sure if it's after or before, but most likely before. It probably oh. before, and, and I, if they do it that way, I hope they're kind of like do, treat it like the the X Files box that they made, where they left slots in the box <laughs> where you could put future seasons. Yeah, and that, that never came. Nice. Sure. Oh, did. then you were follow through with that. <laughs> no, I want to get that home improvement box set, you know, series that they that. have. That's a toolbox. <laughs> I saw that. That looked awesome. I really wanted to get that. And I didn't know that the Simpsons had brought their yeah. own box set. Ray Park. Yep. yep. Oh, it's Darth Maul, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Now bring up Ray Parker Jr. so that we can <laughs> talk about the movie City Limits that he was in. That's actually a pretty good movie that not many people talk about. City Limits. Ooh. Who's in that one? Ray Parker Jr. and some other guy. But it is pretty it's good. Some other, um, some other guy. Yeah. Very low budget. I think it was like some like TV series. I probably saw it two years ago on YouTube because um, mm. it was on VHS and you can't find it anywhere. But I was surprised how much I I liked it. It was like gang warfare, kind of like in a in an apartment building complex. Mm. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. So, like, what are your favorite genres to watch with like movies or even TV? Oh man, I, I I have a very I'm a very uh you know I'm a buffet kind of guy. I like all kinds of stuff, but I would probably say horror is my favorite. Okay, horror is my favorite and my most fun. But I, I love comedies. I love very serious films. I love foreign films. You know, everybody always sees me like goofing and talking about silly movies all the time, and you know, different like comedies from the '90s no, nobody's ever heard of, or really bad <laughs> movies. But yeah, I, but I would probably say like tried and true horror. I mean, like, look, I'm I'm wearing like oh, yeah. from outer space, so it's this is my well, natural. I, I found out today 
that Beavis and Butt do America is going to be <laughs> coming on Blu-ray from Paramount. Yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you saw that. Okay. Yeah. I'll buy that. Oh, I'll definitely buy that. I actually have the complete series on DVD. Now, come to find out, I saw that there was a so-called volume four that was on Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, that. well, why is it not a Blu-ray complete series then? You know, uh, they get you to buy more stuff, buy more. You know. What? Uh, what? Do, what do you mean? Like the DVDs? The, you know, the whole, the whole series. Why is it not Blu-ray? Because they yeah, because never... Volume Four. Yeah, because because it's a Blu-ray. Be, because Volume Four is based off of uh, the new the series that reemerged like. 10 years ago it was the newer episodes i remember where, watching those they weren't yeah. as good i'm yeah. not gonna lie they weren't that that's, good that's where those come from hmm. that's why and, and all the other box sets came from the early seasons they'd been released for years that's why yeah i say never cancel yeah. a show because if you try to bring yeah. it back from a cancellation it may not be as good because if you were to keep it going it'd probably have a better stance in my opinion uh, yeah. The Beavis and Butthead, I'm pretty sure, sh- don't, don't quote me on but you know I've got that wrong before about swearing about something being on Blu-ray. I, th- I swear I have something Half-baked. on Blu-ray and I don't have a, yeah, now that I didn't have that. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I guess I was thinking Days and Confused for some reason. I don't know. Could have been. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I've got that on Blu-ray. Yeah, I have the Days and Confused yeah. um, Criterion Collection one. Very nice. I just picked I just picked that up the the non Criterion version I picked up on the uh, Amazon had a sale about a month ago the uh, oh. three for two I I guarantee if you were to upgrade that to the Criterion one you'd you'd feel better about it if anything it's a really good transfer it's got a really good mastering um, and plus there's extras that come with it in the actual Criterion thing because it's not just sold as a case it's sold as like a little box case with certain um, stickers and booklet that comes with it mm-hmm. it's oh, really that'd cool be, that'd be cool I, I do love days and confused so um eventually i'll probably buy that one too because i know they both have like separate things on them yeah so. and i got fan- fantastic mr fox on criterion collection as well and i'm surprised they even picked that one up i when i saw that that was from criterion i was like like out of all movies for stop motion animation what made you pick Fantastic Mr. Fox? Of course, nobody will answer that question. <laughs> it's, just Wes, it's just Wes Anderson. They, they pretty much make all of his movies into Criterion. I mean, it was a good movie. Don't get me wrong. I like Fantastic Mr. Fox. I just thought that was an odd one to pick for Criterion. See, they, they haven't done his second stop motion movie. The well, maybe Isle they of, should Isle do... Dogs. Have you seen that one? Owl I, Dogs? I have it, but I have not watched it yet. But what, yeah. like, say, uh, Land Before Time by Don Bluth? That would have been a good one. Yeah. Some of it's just rights. You know, it's just if they can get the rights to it. Or <coughs> I have a feeling some people, because, see, like, originally, like, you had, like, Pulp Fiction was Criterion Collection, but then when they went to DVD, they pulled it from Criterion. And it just got released through Miramax or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I I don't know why they chose why, like either um, Quentin Tarantino, it's a filmmaker or the distributor chose not to, you know, license it to criterion. It's, it's in the, it's in the licensing some way or another. I don't know. Well, Jody, um, before I forget um, that TV that I had, that I told you about that I prematurely bought, that was an OLED and, um, Strictly for viewing pleasure than, say, gaming. And I checked out the Crow to see because before I had upgraded the TV, um, it already looked good. But when I put it on that OLED, holy shit. It was like it was more inky black. Yeah. The white that you see, it, like you could see so much more. And I was actually impressed by that. Yeah, OLEDs are pretty sweet. I wish I could afford one. I'm jealous. Yeah, same. No, I know. I know. Nice. Those are sweet. I'll get well, there. No, one day. but people can uh, get an OLED for like a uh, 55 inch for a decent price nowadays. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the only drawback. I want a big screen. Mm-hmm. Same here. Because <laughs> the one I had was a 75 inch. Yeah. 
I got to watch Mortal Kombat on it before I had to take it back. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the new one, the 2021 version. Yeah, yeah. And it looked amazing. That's cool. Like, That's I'm, because, cool. yeah, this Tuesday is when it comes out, and I got it on pre order, but for some odd reason, it wouldn't let it ship. So I had to do the whole store pickup thing. Huh. Yeah. Jeff, are odd. you a criterion? I, Jeff, are I, you a Criterion collector? Or? I am. I am actually pretty stoked about a couple I just picked up from that Barnes and yeah. Noble sale. One I'm like, yeah. one I've been wanting for a long time because it was very expensive. What um, was it? It was the uh, it was the America Lost and Found the the BBS story. Oh, it's that okay. collection. I've wanted that for years, and I got. I mean, essentially, with that sale, sixty two dollars. The, the, mm -hmm. the lowest I could ever get it was like one hundred and five, and I'm just yeah. like, Ugh. but. That I, I, and yep. it was so funny because my, I, and I'm not kidding, this is the truth. That morning, Amazon had this deal. I could get it for like a hundred, for like $105.99, like with mm -hmm. some thing they were doing. It was in my cart, but I was kind of multitasking. I, I had to do something for work. I totally, and I totally forgot all about it because I was in work mode and I just forgot. I'm like, I'll deal with it later, whatever. That happens. My friend texts me, God bless him. B uh, Barnes and Noble's having a 50% off sale. Oh, right, right now. now went there 62.99 i was like i almost bought this thing like that usually that usually never happens my <laughs> luck i buy it and then he and then i'll find out later but oh, god yeah. bless him he let me know 62.99 i picked that up i picked up moholland drive and i i mean there was nothing special yeah. about that except i just wanted the i just wanted that one from you know the criterion i wanted that that's now here's a be here's a better question for you as a collector are you trying to own everything movie or just the stuff that you personally in joy well i usually try to go for things i personally enjoy but now i've just been trying to i don't know i've been st starting to buy from from different companies more more than others so uh yeah just try to collect if i if i find something i like it i i'll buy it or i'll give it a try sometimes i'll blind buy that, oh, yeah, that's this one right here it. love howard the yeah. duck Everyone i watched the four I, I am so impressed by this transfer you have no idea yeah i'm yeah that's on my hit list oh. i want to get that Oh, I was going to show you this, Jeff. Thanks for bringing this up on your bringing this up on your channel. Yes. After yes. you after you talked about it, I'd forgot that they had um, put it out, and yeah. so I went over and bought it. This back coat, this back, this is one of the most impressive sleeves I've seen in a while. Well, what is that? What is that? Alien I, from L.A. I was about to say I can't. It's it's see. not a it, it's. It's a fun movie, but it's not a good movie. It's it's um, it's got a. It's an Albert Pyan movie. So if you <laughs> yeah. like him, you like yeah. you know that's yeah. that's. You're, you want to say something positive, <laughs> but you don't want to yeah. say any negative. Yeah, and you're I just mean, like it, it's good. He has bizarre. He makes some bizarre films, <laughs> but I always seem to really like him. You know, so. It's got yeah. Kathy Ireland though, young like a young Kathy Ireland, and she's hot as hell in it. I mean, that's the most important thing, but. In her prime, you know, in yeah. her prime, yeah, it's it's real, it's, it's good. If you no, guys I'm, can I'm hear me, I'll be right up. back. My headphones are messing up. Sure. Yeah. No, John, I'm I'm glad you yeah. I'm glad you went and picked it up. Um, yeah. yeah, Jody, I did my first live stream last weekend, and uh, it was very. I mean, the the topic was impromptu, but I got my. I was gonna do like a video, like a normal video, and I'm like, why don't I just open you know my my vinegar syndrome sale? I've been waiting for these forever. And I, you know, some people that, that know me know that I was stoked about the surprise of Scanner Cop mm. being on there. And, yeah. but I really went there originally for Surf 2. So that was my main, that was the main reason I bought it. But then the there Alien from LA was a surprise and Scanner Cop too. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> like that, you know, thank you. Like heavenly being, whatever made that happen. Right. So I, I shared all those and I got, yeah, I, I kind of went off about alien LA from LA, how much I like it. <laughs> I have a complaint about StreamYard already. What's up? What's up? Well, because I always see these advertisements. Oh, if you use StreamYard, even if you have a hiccup in your internet, da, 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 it'll still, and it's like, yeah, I had a hiccup. I had to take my headphones out, plug it back in, still couldn't hear shit. Had to log back out you know, and then log back in. Yeah. Fuck you, StreamYard. <laughs> Sounds like a major drive heave more than a hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, like they say that they're the best. It's like, well, prove it. You just didn't prove it right now. Come on. <laughs> 
Sorry, I had to say that rant real quick because StreamYard always says they their best. They're the best. Rant so, uh, uh, so Jeff, about when? Um, how long have you been collecting? And what? What do you? Yeah, about how long have you been collecting? You kind of answered the other part of that question, but but yeah, um, me, Jeff, or him, Jeff? Him, oh, G-Cap, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Jeff. my first name is Jeffrey, actually. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, cool. Yeah, my first name is Jeffrey. My middle name is Charles. That's why I go by Charlie. Jeff with a J or a G? Uh, J. Okay. You spell it the, the right way, the correct way. <laughs> Not G-off. Yeah. G-offery. <laughs> well, my parents didn't even give me the G-off. They, they only gave me one F, so it's like G-of. <laughs> so boring. <laughs> Do I call myself G-cap? Much, much, much cooler. Like so that's where the title you, comes in then, the G-Cap recap. Okay. That's right. Yep. Hmm. G-Cap well, that recap. was genius. I like that then. I did. I mean, uh, that that was kind of penned by a friend of mine. The person I told you, one of the people I told you I did the, the six-pack mm-hmm. review for was like, you know, he kind of kind of penned that. And I'm like, I'm going to keep that. So, uh, yeah, he said I could have that. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, you know, no, no royalties one day. No royalties. Uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, you get right. a, like a complaint letter. Hey, you owe me royalties, asshole. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, but so, um, so John, I'm sorry. You're asking how long I've collected for? Yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much my whole life. I would, I would, um, I would buy VHSs uh, as as a little kid, and then eventually I had to, you know, hop on the the DVD train. Um, and, but a lot of those, you know, I mean, as I'm going, as I was younger, mowing lawns and then, you know, in college, I can only afford so much versus, you know, having a full-time job now where I can, I can kind of feed that. But there's times that through my life that I've, I've lent people things, um, and I never received them back. That's why anytime somebody lends me something, I'm always like, you know, um, cherish. And I think a lot of my friends too, know that like, if it's in Jeff's hands, it's in good hands. I've moved yeah. sometimes where things have been destroyed. And I've had to rebuy them. And it just gets very upsetting to me that uh, for a while, I just kind of didn't want to buy anything anymore. You know, I'm like, maybe you know, I'll just go streaming because I always lose it or. Yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe about a year and a half ago, I was like, screw that. And I want to start buying some good stuff. Cause like, you know, they, they take things off that, that I'm interested in watching. So. Oh yeah. Like near dark is a, is a, like a. I heard of that title. Yeah. And that's getting a re that's getting a release. I think, I hope, um, by uh, studio canal. So I'm, I'm pretty 4k. So I'm, are you on Instagram? Oh yes. Yes, I am. You are. Are, do you follow a geek gab news? Yes, you do. Okay. Um, is it still the G cap recap on Instagram? G cap recap on Instagram and Twitter. Yep. Okay. I'll definitely give you a follow. I'm having troubles with my raging entertainment page right now. So I'll probably just give you a, um, one for my personal. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, let's so let's yeah, that's, that would be great. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my raging entertainment profile right now. Everybody else is able to see it, but me. Like if I try to log in to look, it says cannot reload, cannot refresh, shit like that. And I've sent a report to Instagram like a good few times now, and mm-hmm. still nothing's coming of it. And I know Jody, you said that something similar happened to you, but I don't know if yeah. you went through the same thing I'm seeing. Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't for this long. It was literally like maybe a day. Yeah, and, no, the, uh, I feel like somebody may have hacked my account, or someone yeah. reported my account because um, the fog. I had posted, you know, like, oh, guess what? The fog come into 4K, and somebody called Geek Gab a fake, basically. And I was like, I know, okay, uh, explain. Somebody, somebody got mad. What was that last week? Like the day before the Halloween sh- uh, Screen Factory got announced. Uh, Dawn of the Discs. Yeah, they, they were getting like people were pulling the pictures. Nobody pulled mine, but I guess they I'm pulled yours. Out. No, no, really. I'm I'm, I'm not oh. I'm not that important. But like Dawn of Discs. I was about to they say got, they didn't take mine <laughs> off. No, no, it it, it was what? probably the bigger people. But it was I mean it was the day before Shout Factory listed it, but people mm. were already releasing the art. I. I don't. The only thing I could think was, you know, there were a lot of negative reviews on that art, the artwork that they went with. So it might have been, yeah, it, it, it might have been <laughs> the artists getting nervous, like, oh man, what, they might back out of this deal. But 
when it went up for I happen to like the artwork. I don't care what anybody says. I happen to like it. The box set I missed out on, so why not? I mean, seriously, as long as it's a 4K, I don't care. Yeah, the only artwork I wasn't fond of was for the one for part five. The rest of them look good to me. Yeah. I mean, part five, I can agree with you on that one. Um, yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe number three could have had a better one, too. Like, maybe the original poster. Or maybe all of them could have had their original poster. Yeah, the little the little uh, sneak peek art that they put out, the to-be-announced artwork, those were incredible. I was really disappointed they didn't oh, release yeah. those. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hope, I'm hoping maybe when we get these, we'll, we'll slip off that sleeve and we'll see that artwork. That, that would be great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, Geeky Gab for the... And he probably only did, or she, whoever, I don't know. I don't know the he. person. Um, what's that? He's a he. It is a he. Okay. I just, I didn't want to assume. Um, the, the one they did for near dark is one of the, I, mean, I have a t-shirt for it. It's like one, it's the international VHS uh, release for near dark, which is, I, I, that's my favorite poster. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that on there, you know, like the graphic, I get, you know, he doesn't know what, what the actual, it's not out yet. It was only on a sizzle reel that it's coming. Yeah. So we hope it's still coming. But I think that was out there, and I was just happy just to even see that that was a thing. My friend sent me the sizzle reel, and uh, oh, I was I was doing backflips. If you've ever watched my video on Near Dark, I'm very passionate about that movie. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. Are you a fan of the show Supernatural? By curiosity, I'm not, but I, I do I do know of it. I, I have a lot of people that like. I feel like I'm almost like in the know on it because so many people I know talk about it that. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, to be fully honest with you, when I was at least told about it before mm -hmm. watching it, I was hesitant. I was like, yeah, is it just going to be another teeny bopper type of show, you know, kind of thing? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden I start watching it and then I'm like six seasons in. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, wow, I'm actually enjoying this. It's not too much of a teeny bopper show, even though it does have that vibe. It gets it gets you if you can understand the material if anything it's Did lasted you know? a very very long time so yes. it's got to be pretty you know what i mean like even cw knows i mean they it's been around forever that's why i'm like it's got to be you know maybe i should have did that instead of 21 jump street <laughs> i should have <laughs> went down that rabbit hole <laughs> maybe they should take supernatural and give it a like the biggest finale that they didn't give it that they should have and turn it into a movie to put into theaters and give it the budget it deserves. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, that's what I mean, guys. In uh, House of Wax, the remake, which I absolutely love. I just, I just bought the, uh, I just bought <laughs> Paris the Paris Hilton. Movie. Really? <laughs> Wait, she's in Supernatural? <laughs> no, you said House of Wax. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was saying like the the main the. Uh, oh, she the is in Supernatural, now. actually. Is she in an episode? She is in an episode. She's actually um, a wax figure come to life. <laughs> shit. Oh, yeah. oh my that God. That, just, that totally is. reversed itself. That's Holy hilarious. shit. Yeah. yeah. If true, that's hilarious. That was an early episode, but I do remember that now. <laughs> yes, she was a wax figure. Yes, she was. Holy fuck. I'm surprised that just now clicked. The, yeah, it must have been that connection with that dude. So he's like, hey, you want to come on the show? We'll do the whole waxing. It'll be a, an inside joke. <laughs> yeah, you camera. almost wonder if it is an inside joke now. Oh, totally. That's got to <laughs> That's got to That's got to be. Because it was definitely after her being in that movie. In mm -hmm. the movie. So yeah. that, wow, that baffles me. That really does. I hope that's just a coincidence. Yeah, that's. Oh. That's one that I, that is one that I want to, cause there, there are times where CW, they can do stuff right and they can do stuff wrong. Like the first season of Arrow and he's killing people and it's gory is awesome. Then all of a sudden it starts to get maybe towards the end of season two, it starts to get a little bit of the, cause I think originally it was made for Netflix and they didn't yeah. want it. So CW picked it up. So it's, you know, it's gory, it's gory as hell. He's just killing everybody. It's amazing. Um, I think they, I think they made <laughs> turn like Marvel and DC into rated R stuff because you can do more. Yeah. I mean, I, I think they should. Well, I hope so because now, and I, and I haven't watched it yet. I've only seen clips because I couldn't, I, it was this podcast I listened to, but I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing, but there's a new Superman and uh, a su new Superman show with Superman and Lois have kids. Yeah. And the kids are like very whiny. Like 
<laughs> like like i'm superman like dad how could you lie to me like <laughs> i mean uh, you yeah. didn't tell me you could die by a green diamond yeah and and i heard his big reveal to them is he takes off just the glasses and they're like oh my god and i'm like, I'm like is, it, is it a joke because if so that's funny but it's yeah no it's played like it's i mean their own i too. mean his own kids going like taking your glasses off <laughs> And then they're like, oh, my God, you're Superman. And then he puts his glasses back on and they're like, well, wait, who the fuck are you? Are you Clark or who? Like, are you Superman? Like, who are you? <laughs> yeah. And you just got the kids that are like whiny about it where like, I don't know if my dad took off his glasses, as Superman, and I'm in high school. I'm like, yeah, no, my social calendar is going to be so packed right now. I'm going to be oh, like, yeah. so hot. <laughs> and, you know, date book for all the other all the, all the girls I'm going to take out. I mean. <laughs> yeah they they whine at him they they they, they cry like more you know because i guess one of them has powers but the other one doesn't have as strong as powers as mm -hmm. the other He's like, i'll never live up to your standards dad and i'm like <laughs> why <laughs> why wow who who wow like who thought of that so oh yeah definitely yeah you I'm, watch the clips they're hilarious but i'm never watching that show absolutely anybody excited <laughs> for the um new suicide squad movie I just want to say yes. hey Hi. to Gerald Chase Wilson. He said, good evening, everybody. So, good evening. Wait, what? I said, I wanted to give a shout out to Gerald Chase Wilson. He said, oh, okay. hello to everybody. Well, hello. Hello. Yeah. Does it say how many are watching right now? It says two. 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 I love yeah. it. You know what? Most people never attend live streamings unless you've got a big ass following, and we're gonna change that. We are gonna change that. We're gonna do good, people. Follow GCap Recap. <laughs> I don't follow know Raging Entertainment. Up. Follow Stills Raising Forecast. Follow John. Wait, this way. Yeah. <laughs> follow John right there. Low IQ Media. He's using his channel for this streaming. Subscribe. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, what's yeah, I'm subbed to all you guys. I'm subbed to all well, you guys. Well, what's right? um, what's crazy about it is, it seemed like when I was running the ad and stuff, I was getting a lot of thumbs up and a lot of interest in it, and then nobody shows up. So uh, that's that happens a lot. With if the with if these. you don't get them right away, they tend to not stick around. But As actually, the, uh... that 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 counter up there is no indication. When we get hmm. done that number that's on the video, it shows how many people actually came in and watched that, that counter up there is not accurate. Anyways, there could be four or five, six people watching and you don't know. Possibly. I had that, I had that yeah. up on my live stream at first. I didn't think last week, many people were watching it at first. And I, you know, I was trying to take a look at the comments and there were all these people asking like on the fly comments more than what I was seeing up there on my, on my counter. So I'm like, no. Oh, oh. Okay. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to do my thing and people want to come in. That's yeah. great. But I've been having a great conversation with you all. This has been great so far. So yeah. thank you. Thank you for joining us. No, I'm humbled to humbled to be a part yeah. of it. So now you talked about how you've always collected movies, but like say what movie itself got you into wanting to collect movies? How about that? Me think the first movie I ever, it's going to sound silly. The first two movies I ever bought. Was, Nothing silly here. Yeah, the first one was <laughs> Evil Dead 2. Oh, there you go. Right? So I bought that one. And that's, you know, I, I don't even, I, I, I just, I have a, I've talked ad nauseum about my love for Evil Dead 2 before, but <laughs> I've, it's just, it's just, it's, it's bad, it's bad shit crazy. It's, it's don't awful. feel bad. I'm that way with the movie The Crow. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the my Crow favorite awesome. movie of all time. Dude, yeah, my, my 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 wife loves the crow. So um, and I do too. It's great soundtrack, great movie. Oh um, yes, one of a kind. Yeah, it's great. First rated R comic book movie before Deadpool. Yes. It's a did you guys a good company. Did you guys pick that up? No, I did not. No, uh, no. I feature, I skipped, no. Yeah, I, I skipped out on that one. That's a I felt book. that I had them already. That I didn't need them. Honestly, yeah, yeah. Well, even if it's a standard a, slip, I didn't care. 
Yeah. Yeah. Th there's, like I said, I'm trying to do some different things with my channel. Well, that's not a, to... that's a, that's a steel book. That's not a slip. Okay. No, that's I know it's not a right? like yeah. slip. Yeah. I was just yeah. saying in general, yeah. because of it being yeah. a still book with the slip covers that I have, I was like, would I want to upgrade it even though I already have them? Am I happy with what I have? And yes, I, I am happy to... with what I have. I had to get that one. Ooh. And I had to stay with oh, it. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's awesome. That's incredible. In the back image. That's awesome. Oh, it's I'm an jealous. amazing steel book. My gel <laughs> rating right now. <laughs> <laughs> off the charts. Jeff, what were what you if? trying to say? I'm sorry if I cut you off. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's cool. I, I was saying that that's one of the different things I want to do with my, my channel is I'm going to be doing some different stuff uh, after the summer. But I wanted to show some things I collected a long time ago that I've held on to. Like I, I have the normal Blu-ray for Evil Dead 2 that I bought, but mm -hmm. there is a tin that I have. A, a um, it's, I think it's, it's pretty limited. It's a, it's a tin. I think I know what you're talking about. Oh my god, I love that thing. And to me, that's like the best. You know, one of the best. You know, you know packages presentations for. Until I saw that. Did you ever, Cody? <laughs> that's pretty awesome. <laughs> did, uh, did, uh, did, did you ever get the like foam book of the dead? They, they did one for part one mm -hmm. and part two. Yep. I wish I would have hung on to those. I don't know why I got rid of those, but those were awesome. I bought. I bought the. Um. I bought the for the first one. I bought the yeah. book of the dead edition with the foam book. I, I haven't opened it. It's still sealed. Oh <laughs> yes, there. There you go. I didn't buy the second one because I felt like I was getting hustled because I'm like, well, this looks like the same exact thing. And I have right. that beautiful steel. Like, why would yeah. I, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The second one was harder to find. The first one I had forever. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know why I sold them. But those, I, I, I love those books. They, they look so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just, I've never, I've never opened it. You know, I've just, uh, keep it don't sealed. Don't do it. <laughs> no, no, it's beautiful. You know, it's, it's I, I, like cool, I said, it? I got bang up copies of stuff I always have where I won't, I won't touch the others. You can always do a double dip in a way to where one's your viewing pleasure and one is your display. Mm -hmm. Right. And what does that person say? He's like, John, I saw your crotching hall video. Has anyone else partaking in the sales? Well, Jeff, you were saying you were kind of doing that, right, with the Criterion? Yeah, with the Bar with the Barnes and Noble. Yeah, I picked up the uh, Mulholland Drive, and I picked up uh, the the American Lost and Found BBS story that has five movies in it, five movie collection, and a bonus. Well, I'm very picky on Criterion, so I know I don't have much of anything other than just like say Breakfast Breakfast Club, the Bruce Lee collection, um, Fantastic Mr. Fox and maybe one other title, but I don't have a lot of criterion because a lot of it is just older movies mm -hmm. that I just don't find pleasure in watching. See, that's I've exactly why I, I buy them because that's what I like <laughs> is the older movies. Well, I you know just, I'm just, I'm picky. I am picky when it Got comes it. to media, so. That's yeah, me. I'm trying to think, I mean, like, you know, I, I I don't I guess I have them in these different categories. Like Vinegar really shot up after that after the, the some of these recent releases. Mm -hmm. Um just some of the quality they put into like for example, I think John might have seen this, but I, I bought a movie a blind buy because they were just hitting me over the head with it in every email. No. The six string samurai. I have never seen this movie. This could be the worst movie, probably I feel the, like I know that movie. I feel yeah, like it's I not it's not horror. It's like post apocalyptic. It's a black mm -hmm. comedy. It's action. Whatever. I could be that. I've never seen it. And I'll be honest. I know a lot of movies. Never heard of this movie. But I did. I don't know. For some reason, I just did a blind buy. It is the most. It, it's just the the packaging, the the detail that was put into it. There, there's a booklet. There's. I mean, it's it's beautiful. So it's, and and like the the scanner cop uh, two set it, that um I was excited about too. The, the casing they have for it. I mean, mm. these things are like, you know, maybe not the best quality movies. And, you know, but, and they're, you know, a little, little expensive, you know, vinegar, vinegar is a little pricey, but that's, that's, I mean, if you get something like that, I'm like, okay, you know, I get it. But they, they've, they've really shot up uh, for me recently versus, you know, I mean, uh, my, my big one was always Shout Factory because they always mm -hmm. had the cooler flicks I was looking for. I'm sure that, 
like each of us has like at least one thing that's so called out of print that people are reselling for ridiculous prices. Mm. I guarantee all of us have something. Yep. Whether it be a steel book or non steel book. Yep. I will say that I wish that I, I was. Had... That's a challenge for all of you then. I was going to ask Gerald on here on the, in the chat. Um, do you buy Criterion? If you do, list it there and I'll put it up. Sorry, I interrupted there a little bit. So, oh uh, no, no, I was I was looking for the comment. No, I, I, I haven't bought very much yet. Like, I've been, you know, I've been doing the toy stuff, so I've been buying that stuff. So I've been having to limit what I'm buying on movies for the last couple <laughs> couple weeks. So I've, yeah. I've got I got goofy on the. I got a little bit goofy on the toy stuff, so I've had to back oh, off. Oh, trust on me, I, I kind of go back and forth on what I'd rather get, like, say, a NECA figure or a movie. And usually I pick <laughs> a movie, but I do have some NECA figures behind me in general. So, Well, I've got plenty of movies, so I don't have to, you know, I always want more, but I've got plenty, so... Collecting toys is something new, so it's I've been collecting for twenty five years in the movies, mm -hmm. so yeah, you know, mm -hmm. it's something different. Oh, yeah. but but it's a pain in the butt though because it's just the the toy industry is just short selling everything. It's worse than the movie industry. So, oh. uh, to me, it's been about the same, honestly. I I just these are just coming out right now. This is the. Masters, this goes along with the Revelations, the Masters of the Universe, Revelations, mm -hmm. Netflix series. Oh, yeah. This is Skele, this is Skele God. Skele God. <laughs> Got a lot of reflection going on. It's hard to see. i tell you what. That He's Masters of cool. the Universe movie, uh, what was the actor's name that played Skeletor in that movie? Frank Langella. Oh. Yes. No, no, no. He was on a whole other level. No, 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 no. Time, every time I see that movie... I'm like, wh where was the praise you're, for this man? You're talking the guy, Dolph Lundgren, right? Masters of the yeah. Universe movie? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Skeletor was played by the guy who was the bad wizard in Lord of the Rings. Yes, yes, yes. I just forget his name. I forget his name, too. But that but was him. As times at Ridgemont High. I watched that. I watched it the other day, and I was like, this guy's on a whole other level. I love this guy so much. Oh, I love the Masters question. Universe movie. It's funny, Jody, you said that because he held that up and I just started to think about the movie. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's wild. Yeah. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, yeah. Definitely, yeah, I purchased uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Pick Up on South Street, Mirror, Memories of Murder, Secrets and Lies, Defending Your Life, Bringing Up Baby, Re Re Revanche, and La Piscine. I'm sure I, mean, I missed. I probably messed up those last two. He oh, said he has 341 criterion. That's pretty awesome. Well, you good, for you. Good, good for you. Good yeah, for you. you. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Because do honestly, it. I, I don't buy. Just... You're almost at 400. Keep going. Yeah, That's I right. don't go after criterion just because it's criterion. I got, I got enough problems. I got Arrow Video and <laughs> I can't, I can't be bringing in another whole category yo arrows been putting out some really good ones um man they've been killing it dude oh, yeah they have wallet up yeah i'm children yeah. of the corn i'm definitely getting that yeah i'm getting definitely it. getting that yeah they are. uh i missed out on uh, the demons uh, demons 2 one which is upsetting but, but it's coming back know. out it's coming it's back out I already pre-ordered. Yeah. Synapse Films. It's coming back out, but it's not coming out how they did it in the UK, and that yeah. box is awesome. That thing the year the years of lead box set's awesome, yeah. but you got that too, Jody, didn't you? Yeah, years of lead. Yeah. Have you that watched was, any of the movies on it? That was yet? a good box. Not yet. I've got a stack of yeah. things I need to watch. It's ridiculous. And I've That's watched two of the movies. They're good. That's something we should do on this channel. Talk about the movies we haven't watched yet, and when we watch it, of course, make a video. I got a y'all said Shout Factory a minute ago. I got this in the mail. I got the the Dead Zone release that they got. Coming oh, up. nice! Oh, okay, yeah. nice. 
I'm looking forward yeah, to that. Yeah, I, I still never got that almost famous request. No? I didn't either, so it's okay. <laughs> Is it on pre order yet? It's been on somebody... pre order. It's just now it's out of stock because everybody oh, wants right. it and everybody wants yeah. to resell it for more. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I looked it up the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Do you that's guys suck. have a lot? It, do you guys have any of the Blue Underground releases? Yeah. Not me personally. No. I don't. I got some. I can't think of... what all I have, though. Yeah. They're not the type of movies I would personally watch. That's why I don't have them. I got sent uh, Dead and Buried. It's got a crazy ventricular on it. Oh, check that. that oh, nice. Nuts. Well, you got to watch it and let us know how it turned out. Oh, yeah, I need to get my weapon on this one. I'll let her review it. She'll hate every moment of it. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think, um, actually, I have the final countdown. It's a lenticular, too, but that's Blue Underground, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it's I've got that one. Yeah, yeah. They just, final they just countdown, did yeah. Zombie, right? Hmm? Huh? They just did Zombie final right? Count- ago, right? Oh. Yeah, Fol- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get that. Yeah, they, they do awesome That one I wouldn't mind checking out. It's crazy. I've got I've had a few sent to me and they're all really cool. Well, hey, G Cap, um, your viewing pleasure for YouTube collectors, who do you watch? Ooh, um I would probably say probably my favorite, probably the one I check out the most is the, the last guy you had on, your guest, Ken. Oh, Ken. Um, mid, mid, uh, yep, mid level from mid level media. Uh, yeah, he's great. He's a, he's a great guy. I really like him. I like his channel. Um, so I find out a lot of news sometimes from him. I, I yeah, I just enjoy, I enjoy his videos. And you know, just I've, I've conversed with him through messages and stuff. He's a really nice guy. I like him. No, he's a, he is a good guy. Really I, good guy. I chat with him and you know whatever it may be. But yeah, he he's a good guy. Yeah, he'll visit my lowly channel every now, you know, and 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 leave comments. I always think that's nice. <laughs> he so, did that with my recent last Tuesday video of saying like, "Hey, great video, this and that." Yeah. And um, before that, I think he was on my Wooly Wonka video. Yeah, he's a very very cool guy. I like I like him a lot. I would probably say maybe for um, I don't know. I don't. I mean. Like I was trying to think, like mainly for collectors, it's it's him. A lot of people that I will interact with are people that come to my, you know, that leave comments on my channel, almost like community. I'll, you know, but they subscribe to me or vice versa. Um, yeah. You know, I'll go check out their stuff. Uh, but yeah, I just I probably probably for him, movie collectors. But I I follow all kinds of different random channels, people I like. There is um, same here. Yeah, there's. I'm trying to think. There's a a channel called the um the wa- um gosh the wacky wacky world lounge okay that um he will talk about a lot of movies that uh aren't and he's not just it's not just always movies too like sometimes it's you know he'll he'll do different mashups and all that mm-hmm. but he talks about a lot of films that that I like too that are those you know those ones I used to cover in the gcap recap some of those like you know B, C grade level films, you know, from, yeah. from, a, from a time that nobody talks about, which is cool because, <laughs> um, and the delivery and everything's great on the video. So I like that one. I like that a lot too. He's pretty cool. R.S. Gray. Nice. Okay. I'll definitely check, check, check him out. So like I say, it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily where he'll go and do like a movie haul, but he will go buy things and he will review them. Like he just did, for example, uh, Thundar the Barbarian. He bought okay. the, the, the set for that. Well, I like that a lot. I've liked that since I was a kid because that's more of a – it was very edgy and dark even as a as a kid for Saturday morning cartoons. But it's, mm. I didn't even know I didn't even know they released the set. So, um, but, yeah, I was probably saying him. If I give a shout-out, I'd probably say him. He's pretty, okay. He's pretty, I mean, cool. are you familiar with what movie won or, say, Cool Duder or Durant Cinema? What, what is that again? I'm sorry. So, okay, there's a guy called Wet Movie One. His first name is Brendan. Yeah. But, oh, yeah, um, Wet Movie One. I know who he is. Yeah, I know who he is. Yep. Okay, and then, then there's Cool Duder, but his name is Sean. Mm-hmm. And then Durant Cinema. I don't know. I don't, I don't think – I'm not familiar with the others. 
Well, Durant Cinema, he does a weekly video, and it's just for Blu-ray steelbook hunting, mainly. Mm -hmm. He does have, like, a guilty pleasure of bad shark movies, but he'll mm -hmm. include that in there, too. <laughs> cool. But he, he likes he likes steelbooks. Okay. okay. Yeah. I need to collect more steelbooks. I have Hopefully. a decent amount, but I don't have, like, a big collection. Don't but, do but it. But decent. Don't do it. Don't do it. All your money goes away. It is good. If it's reasonable, I'll do it. <laughs> My friend found the hangover in a, in a Dollar Tree steelbook. Really? There you go. Yep. There you go. Damn. I've not seen one in my life. He got one. I was like, oh, and actually, I really like the hangover a lot. But like, was it DVD or Blu ray? Blu ray. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, shit. I found part two or two or three. I've got it over here, but it was from Dollar General. It was like three, three ninety five or something like that. Mm. Yeah. Damn. yeah. For, the, for the steel? Yeah. It's awesome. Blu ray. Yeah. I can never, I, yeah, I, I've not been, I've not been that lucky. I probably think like the highest quality film that I found here was Rocky, the original Rocky Blu-ray. Yeah. Like Sometimes I, I, I just go in there and buy like crap, just whatever, like, I don't well, know. And what's funny is that number four is getting a physical 4K release. Yeah. But not the others. Yeah, <laughs> they're start with four, yeah. And it's gonna Let's be start record, with but... the one that everybody likes the most. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Check that out, John. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's yeah, everyone. I mean, $4. everyone. <laughs> four, part four is, uh, you know, Americana, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He's getting rid of the robot, though. The robot upset him. So mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's that's what you're going to change. I love that robot. I do too. <laughs> Which one? Am what are you talking about again? Rocky. Rocky oh, Four. Okay. The robot okay. he has. Yeah. But yeah, that, that is that is strange. That one's coming out before the rest. So uh, Yeah, like number four gets a physical release, but not the others. Like, how does that work? Like, don't get me wrong. Yes, each property has their own studio, so to speak. But what stops you from making the fucking physical? I don't know. I feel like almost the, the fourth one is very mainstream. To where a lot of people really like that one because it's very, it's I guess it's more nostalgia, eighties nostalgia, because mm. you get the U.S. versus Russia back then. Remember that? True. So it was every like, I guess with mm -hmm. the, the, the you know that that whole generational kind of shift that that's that's the one thing that yeah. kind of stayed. That's that's why I think. I mean, Apollo dies in it. There's there there's a lot. Mm. Rocky Four is pretty heavy. You know, the best yeah. best video montages, you know, yeah. ever. Totally agree. I just wish Apollo would have stayed in his pool with those beautiful golden retrievers and did not get out of the pool to fucking talk. I just didn't right. see the point of greed dying. I didn't see the point of it. I don't know. I don't know. I guess for that like whole revenge. Yeah, but you could still have revenge even if someone just got hurt. Yeah. I mean, think about it. When I saw it, it was very upsetting for me to oh, at least me, to watch Apollo die. I was very upset. And not like that. they just became best friends. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What does that like, theme song take that away so too? quick? <laughs> it's so it's got that song that keeps playing in it too. There's several montages with that same song. It's not Eye of the Tiger either. It's a different song. It's like the popular song and that like, pop song in it. But um, yeah, I, just, I always remember that song from four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the killer soundtrack. I I didn't on yeah. I as a vinyl as a kid. I loved it. <laughs> that was the best. That's that's that, and that's the one of all of them. That's the one that Sylvester Stallone wanted to fix. I guess from what I've read, I do not know Sylvester Stallone. This could be you know I don't believe everything I read on the internet, but that's oh, what he course, wanted to yeah. fix. And he was upset about the robot. Oh my god. I heard level something says, about up? that, but I don't know how true it is. Yeah. Hey, yeah. what's up? Ah, speak of the devil. Yeah. What's up, Ken? What's going on? What does that one say? G cap recap is the man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Feelings mutual, Ken. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. <laughs> Show the man some love. <laughs> <laughs> 
But yeah, maybe that's. <laughs> I'm thinking that's why they went with four first. You mm-hmm. know. If you stick around a little while, Ken, how many movies did you pick up? Well, who here has the watched Loki? Criterion Cell. I haven't yet. I want to. I urge you to. I'm all over it. Like, no, I shit you not. I was a little hesitant to watch it. I'm going to say mm-hmm. that right now. I was hesitant to watch it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First episode, hooked. Now I'm all caught up. I, I binged watched five episodes. Because okay. that's how many there are. And yeah. this week is going to be number six. It it keeps you wanting to know. Number you six think... and the final one. This is all we get. Only six? Is it? I got So it. six I... episodes and that's it. That's it. But they're like uh, six so far. Yeah, I like that. But they're like almost an hour long each. So <laughs> technically you're getting a very long ass movie. <laughs> right, right. What does that say? Six so far. Six so far. <laughs> six. Oh. six. Six criterion. Oh. What? Going for fifteen. Going by for the fifteen the by month. the end of the month. Yeah. Nice. Strive for nine. nine I did more. go see. Uh, I went and seen Black Widow though. This. I Friday. did. Yeah, I saw that too. I saw that Friday. What did you I didn't think? See it. What did you guys think? It was a C. It wasn't. You it had the too many. Uh, yeah, but it's it had too many slow parts, and it was. And you know, I, I, I get don't the know. feeling I don't, Jody I don't, I don't want to get in. I don't want to get into it because they had they put more emphasis on Black Widow's replacement than on Scarlett Johansson in the movie. So. Yeah, Focus on passing that you know. torch. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're passing the torch. I was. It's a good movie. Like as far as like. Uh, I mean, I didn't like love the movie, but I had fun with it. Uh, mm. And it, but you know, it, it didn't feel. It, I, I didn't feel like it was. I mean, it, was it 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 could have been a Disney Plus thing. It could have just been a yeah. short little thing they they did. Uh, I was surprised that some people made it through the whole movie. Mm-hmm. I was not expecting. I was expecting there to be more sad moments. Uh, yeah, I feel like they kind of wasted um, uh, uh, Taskmaster. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I did feel bad about that. That was probably the one thing in the movie that bothered me. It's like that's a great well, and villain, they, and they gender swap. This- yeah, I mean, to, they, they redid everything just to make it. Make they a, they not only gender swapped it, and they obviously had a guy in the costume and did a just put her face in that suit. It was obviously mm-hmm. a man in that. They wasn't her in that in that suit. Yeah, and it wasn't a very good job doing it. It's just and, and Taskmaster is one of the great villains, and that's what a lot of people I, I talk like... about. How you know they just um. They, other than Thanos, Marvel's got a villain problem. They just don't have great villains, you know. Mm-hmm. So I like Loki. I like Loki. Even if he's not successful, he's still fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I, I, guess, I do like him. I see, like, I like my, his my problem is, is this movie should have been in the place of Captain Marvel. And you can tell, I believe... You can see that maybe part of this movie was written to be that. I think they went back and changed. They obviously had to change some of it after the fact, but I ble- you can almost tell they had written this movie to fit in that slot. And it would have went perfect in that slot if they had put this movie with a few minor changes without Scarlett Johansson obviously mm-hmm. dying at the end. But all that stuff stuck in at the very end. So you can tell it was probably written beforehand or... At least there, it was conceived beforehand to go in that slot. I think that the greatest part of the whole movie yeah. is the opening credit sequence. Honestly, yeah. Well, <laughs> a lot of people that, that's that's how a lot of people sound, agree with that. Yeah. Well, a lot yeah, of people that, agree the with opening, that. The opening credit sequence was like okay, like I was expecting to go into like a deep deep movie so the movie that followed was still fun but it didn't it didn't yeah. hype yeah. as much as the opening credit sequence and if you haven't seen it you'll now you worry you me <laughs> yeah now yeah. you worry me 
Well, it's kind yeah. of like uh, I think that's what a lot of people that didn't like Army of the. Did you guys see Army of the Dead? I tried to watch it yet. Yeah, even the people. Even the people. Well, I'm not, I won't ruin anything. I'm just saying, even the people that um, there was a lot of the people that wound up not liking it was because the opening sequence, like credit scene and everything, is just pretty. It's it's that great. So when you guys said that about Black Widow, that made me think of that because it's you know oh, yeah. you kind of peak early. You, you know, stop but, on time. <laughs> <laughs> it's all downhill from here. I I do want to watch Loki though. Um. So definitely, Charlie. I'll I'll, I'll definitely definitely yeah. worth it. Yeah. Oh, see there, Marvel's Marvel's getting into a situation now where there is no you got to you hold off to watch a show or a movie because Loki's building into Spider Man. Uh, oh yeah, Black Widow, Doctor Strange, Black Widow, Black Widow built into the upcoming uh, Hawkeye series. Mm-hmm. Everything's just building in so fast now that they're putting stuff on Disney Plus too. Mm-hmm. It's gonna, mm. it's gonna get ridiculous. It, I, I don't know if it's gonna be an overkill. So far, I'm still excited for everything, but it's gonna be hard for people to be like, "Oh, I'm just gonna wait till all the episodes are out and then I'm just gonna watch it," because it's just, there's the next thing's right around the corner. Yeah. Right. Well, guys, I'm gonna be heading out at my hour mark. So, um, mm-hmm. you guys have a good night. Thanks for having me on. Everybody have a good night. And take hey, care. You too, yeah, you too. Thank you. Talk to you. Thank later. you. I'm sure we'll talk soon. Thank you. I didn't know we had to go early. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't like being overcritical about that stuff, but I kind of am because I just like I, I just think they're going downhill with all this stuff, and I just don't like the politics in it, and so I, I'm, I'm critical about all of it. About those movies, I just don't see anything good coming out of any of the new stuff. I, I'm, I'm anxious that's why, that's for why the I whole. Call, because like. Alexi in the movie, David Harbour's character. What's his actual name? The Red. What is his the, name? Uh, 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 the, um, oh my God! The um, I'm looking at I'm looking at black. I'm the blanking page. on it right now. Yeah, but it's not listed. It just shows Alexi. It don't say his character name. It doesn't show a superhero but, name. Yeah, I don't know That's why. Bad. Yeah, That's so. like his whole. Complaint in the movie was he never got any credit. Now they're not even giving him credit on the movie. Well, that's that's the problem. They're kind of they're deep. Like he, they couldn't. That's the problem with the writing. That's the things that people don't. I, I, going and watching the movie, yeah, it's fun. You know, it's a fun movie to watch. Except for it's got a couple of dead sequences. I think in it where it's just slow, where there's a lot of you know a lot of dialogue heavy that shouldn't necessarily be in an action movie. A little bit too yeah. long scenes are a little bit too long and um and a lot of times i was like well you know i i'd like to see some of these movies more dramatic acting the acting stuff was good and you know and, and the dialogue's not bad but it's just too much of it and it just really yeah. didn't go anywhere and um but his character is very um it's inconsistent. They couldn't decide what, if they wanted him to be super strong in one scene or the next scene, he's not. And then he's a goof, then he's a goofball. And sometimes, and these, they just, it's this, what they're doing to male characters these days, they're demasculating them, demasculating them. And, and that's kind of what they did. And to him, they kind of neutered him. Essentially. They didn't really let him fulfill, you know, be the per- He's a super soldier. He's essentially yeah. the he, communist, Captain America. That's yeah. essentially what his character is. Yeah, I mean, you know, they kind of they kind of drop they drop that hint a couple of times. The only part about that does, that didn't make sense to me is if he's uh, Captain America Part Two, how did he get fat? Because I thought that was yeah. like part of the thing. Like you're just always physically brought fit and stoked. So how 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 did you get I, fat? I don't... <laughs> I don't know if that's what they were trying to explain that away. That I, I don't know if Captain America can't get fat, but I don't know. I, I just whenever I saw it, I was, I I mean, was like, okay, so he's going to be jacked all the time now, right? Because you would think the same thing about Thor, because Thor true. got fat, that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, true. you would think he's got some. Because yeah, and he's a god, right? So can yeah. he just go? And that and that and that was the best yeah. Thor ever. So I don't know why we didn't. Yeah, that <laughs> was. The the yeah. fact that they're gonna that they made him work up work back out and he's gonna be all 
muscular yeah. and shit in the next one. Kind of disappointing, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, really, I really like Ragnarok a lot. So I did, yeah, I do too. To... I did too. I'm looking forward to Love and Thunder. Yeah. Well, I love... if... yeah, I am because I don't. I, I like Ragnarok a lot, and I like Tata Watiti, like his stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I don't know if I like this whole concept about the female Thor. This is new comic book bull crap that's been coming out in the last you five, like ten years. <laughs> and I don't really like the idea of it. There's just too many good stories. There's too many old stories to be. And like I, I was, I've probably talked about this before, and I was talking about this to my cousin earlier tonight about how they just want to, um, like they're they're getting away with, saying oh well we, we're using source material but yeah they're using the new source material they're using these comic books that have been written in the past five years mm-hmm. and they're like and, and it's all this you know identity politic comic book crap and they're like yeah but we're using this stuff and, and dc's doing the same thing but dc's using the new 52 stuff even even the new um even um the snyder cut even Zack Snyder's DC universe is based on the new 52. It's not based on old DC. So they're all using this new source material. That's not, some of it's not as good. So yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm going to no problem with new comics. So I don't, Jim. yeah, I'm a, I'm only, it's only the only ones I grew up with, you know? So, yeah, I get, I, I get the frustration about wanting to see the old stuff, but, they know that the, a lot of their audience now, and definitely all their audience in the future, this stuff that's been coming out in the past five, ten years. That that's all. That, that's all they've been paying attention to. So they're 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 wanting to get them stoked. We're just our us old guys. We're just on board to watch it on screen. You know, it's just like oh, that's cool. You got merchandising. You've got all kinds yeah. of things that you can sell, not just a movie with with you know. That, that's what happened with Star Wars, right? So oh yeah. You know, look at this, like a whole new thing, a whole new line of toys, a whole new generational line of toys, outfits, all that stuff. I mean, they just that's, you know, that's that's the way to make money to, you know, as, well, as a business standpoint. But Disney miscalculated. They thought we could just crank out any piece of crap that we want and <laughs> we're just going to and they just pissed off a bunch of people. Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't sell the toys that they were expecting. Mm-hmm. Those all those toys were shelf warmers, you know, they're shelf oh, pegs. Yeah, I heard of yeah. They were peg warmers, you know. They yeah. didn't sell very much. The only toy that started selling was Gina Carano after they fired her. <laughs> so people tried to grab them up, you know. Oh uh, yeah, cuz they were yeah. From the Mandalorian. I was shocked. But um not not that I love that show. toys. I, I was shocked when I was at the store and I saw the um uh, what what's the next Marvel movie? Shang Chi, is that what's coming yeah. out? Yeah. The, the, those yeah, those toys are, those already, are bad. They're, those they're are already bad. on clearance. I was like, yeah. the movie hasn't even come out yet. <laughs> oh jeez. There, there's there's actually come uh, out. Uh, it comes out August, September maybe yeah. August September. I forget the release date. Stuff's it's on soon. clearance. Yeah, wow. it's already on clearance. It just hit the shelf like last month. Yikes! There, there's actually a uh, Iron Man. It's like a classic Iron Man look from the comic books. One of the toys. I'm waiting for it. It's it's already went through one round of clearance, and I'm waiting for it to go down. To hopefully under ten dollars. So it's already sixteen yeah. bucks. I'm gonna wait till it to go down again. They some of the other channels are saying it's gonna go down again. So I'm waiting for it to go down again. But, but there's a there's a cool Mandalorian. It's like a six inch figure, it's real, looks real nice. He, he looks real good, and um, I, I think it's actually Boba Fett that that Mandalorian. So, but he's got real nice detail. But I haven't bought him yet. I don't collect a lot of the superhero stuff at, yet. I, now, I do have that white Doctor Doom, I have him. That's the only one I've bought so far. The Legend series. So, sorry to get off the toy tender. I've been, I got toys <laughs> on my mind. You got toys in your mind. Has either yeah. one of y'all? This is this is a newer. This is the new guy, Richie, the Wrath of Man. Have either one of y'all checked that out yet? No, no. 
I've been hearing good things. I, I, ju I, I just got it in the mail. I, I've, I've been hearing good things. Um, but it's got Jason Statham in it. Mm -hmm. I'm very interested. I, I need to find somebody that's already seen it or I just need to watch it myself. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> no, that, that, that sounds good. That's something I would definitely be interested in watching. I do appreciate Guy Ritchie's work. And I, I, I do like Jason. I do, yeah. Yeah. I think he's I'm cool. To see. I oh, was very ahead. disappointed because I – oh, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. I, I was – I was just going to say, I, I did like what I earlier when I was talking about uh, the Alexi character. He, uh, I was trying to think of his real name. It's like Red something, but, but, it's, uh, um, but she, watch her name. Her character calls him the, she, she was the, like, she miscalled him like the Crimson Dynamo. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Crimson yeah. Dynamo. I was like, you know what? I kind of like that yeah. better, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the Crimson Dynamo is, so you know, who the, you, you know what the Crimson Dynamo is, don't you? It sounds really was, familiar, and I, and I knew it did when, it, when she said it's it. It's like the Russian. He was like a Russian Tony Stark. He had a suit of armor. He had a he had a mechanical suit of armor, like like Iron Man, but he was the oh, Crimson okay, Dynamo. Cool. Yeah, I'm not, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's a cool name. So I thought it was funny. They it was just a cutscene. I'm I'm sorry I cut you off, G Cap. I apologize. Oh no, it's all good, man. No, no, no. That's, that's so my cool. style. That's my style. <laughs> Age, I'm just, I'm just a guest. <laughs> um, no, uh, all I was going to say about uh, Jason Statham was that I, you know, I, it's no secret I love shark movies. Jaws is my favorite movie all time. Love Jaws. Love shark movies. I watch them, good, bad, otherwise. I read the books, um, Steve Alton's books for, and I don't read often, for The Meg. And mm -hmm. I, I read it a long time ago when it first came out. I it was it's great. It it it's, it reads like a movie script. It's very exciting. So the movie came out a few years ago, and it had gone through developmental hell for like a decade. I mean, at one point Eli Roth was going to do it, right? So I was finally just happy that it was going to come out, and I have never been so disappointed in a movie in my entire life. And it was it was just I'll never watch it again. It's horrible. Every time I even try to watch it again, I, it's just it's bad. And it's, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, it's not like the book. I'm just saying is a shark movie. There are sci-fi shark movies that are more entertaining than this. It was so boring. It was just so bad. So I heard they're going to do a sequel. Yeah. And Jason Statham said, and this is why I like him a little bit more now. Like, I always think he's cool, right? But this is the reason I like him a little bit more now. He had uh, stated that I guess he has more control of the movie. And what they're going to be doing. And I guess originally the, the other one was going to be R and it was supposed to be more gory and violent, but they wanted to sell more tickets. So they made it PG. So that's why it's, there's really nothing happening, but I guess with this one, he wants to make it more badass, like the original one should have been. So right. I'm, I'm a little bit more on board for that. So um, yeah, that not that I didn't think he was cool as it was, but that just gave me extra, extra yeah. love for him. So when you showed like me that, what did you think of that? <laughs> it seemed like to me it was very, it's almost like it was made by a Chinese film company. It didn't feel American made. Mm -hmm. You know, have you seen some of the Chinese movies made? You know how they make yeah. movies; they kind of yeah. copy American style. Now I'm not talking about Hong Kong movies. I'm talking about like a Chinese. It just felt weird because yeah. it takes place in China. Off to China, it, isn't that right? It takes place off the China, the shore. Yes, yes. China, be you know. Yes. So um, it was just, uh, it, it felt like that a whole lot. And I haven't watched it in a while. That. I haven't watched it in a while, but it felt yeah, kind of generic like that a little bit. Yeah, it was like financed yeah. by. That's how they got the 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 um the money was I guess for it was foreign. I mean, it was international money was the way to get it. And I think in the book, if I remember correctly, because it's been a long time since I read the book, but I remember a lot of the kill scenes, like the first two books are awesome. And, I, but I'm, and I'm not a reader. So I'm just saying they, if you read them, it's almost like you're reading a screenplay. Um, the, yeah, it was almost, I think it was supposed to be Japanese. So like the, the people that fund the, the mission throughout the whole book and movie, it was supposed to be, because it's very different. The, the book and the movie are super different, like super different, like two totally different things. But yeah, that was, um, I, th I think this one now is going to be, uh, I don't know if they're going to bring back some of the same 
surviving characters or what, but I'm, I'm excited to at least give that one a shot. You know, when I heard he was back on board, Jason Statham, I was, I, I just remember when I very first heard that it was really going to come out. I was listening to this show, the, the Jim and Sam show, and he was a guest on there and he just brought up, yeah, I'm going to be in the shark movie. It's called the Meg. It's like Jurassic Park. He sounded, just how I just told you, it that much excitement. So I was <laughs> was kind of suspect when it was coming out. I'm like, wow, he's really kind of bummed, like, you know. And now, now I think I see why, because you know he probably saw the final product. <laughs> it was, was bad. Yeah, the trench. I didn't realize. Was it was it PG? Yep. Oh my god. That's all they have cool. about it so far. So that's crazy. They made it PG though. Yeah. It's, it's PG. The, the second book follows the um, and I don't know, it's I don't know. I guess this is going to be different too, but in in a few sentences, the um the original Meg that dies in the book has a baby named Angel. And um they, you know, the I can't remember the name of the company now, but they they you know capture her. And they keep her in this sea world place with all these other different kinds of um, the giant like aquarium called Hell's Aquarium, and you know she with with other creatures, with other like sea creatures, like rare sea creatures, and she starts to grow, and she becomes smarter, and eventually this becomes a whole financial disaster, and she's she's able to get back into the wild again. So they ask our boy Jonas to go wrangle wrangle her back when he didn't want to keep her in captivity to begin with because you can't keep something like that's he always knew it was a dangerous liability so um but this one the the book i almost like the second one has more action and i like that a little bit better than the first one so i don't know i don't know how they i don't know if that's going to be like the book or if it's going to be its own thing but it's going to be it's supposed to be r it's supposed to be more gory but we'll see that's that should good. help it a lot <laughs> yeah I was so disappointed, guys. So disappointed. I was so upset. Do you got to sit uh, down? Or, uh, go ahead. No, no, no I was just going to ask you guys a question. If you, um, if there was any pre-orders that you guys did that you're looking forward to, <clears throat> that you're just waiting on. Ooh. If I wasn't using a phone right now. Now I can look at yeah, I, I don't have now. a um, I don't have a lot of pre-orders right now. I do have a um, what's uh, I'm looking forward. Zavi released a, a limited uh, edition for um, Last Action Hero. Oh, cool. I'm looking forward to that. It's a still book version, but it's it's in they put, they put it in a sleeve. It has a book and stuff that that should be coming soon. <laughs> That's awesome. They yeah, did a still book for Jaws too. Yeah, yeah. I got the yeah. I'm, they they finally finished up all of them. The Jaws one still book came out forever ago. It was a UK exclusive. They released two, three, and four finally to, to buy, and they're all all the covers are going to match. It's going to look awesome side by side. Wow. I'm looking forward to all those coming in. That's the first awesome. one, the first one was a UK exclusive, and it got really expensive. But then when they put out jaws in 4k <clears throat> the price on those drops so you can actually find those for a really good deal now mm -hmm. but yeah the, the whole set one, one through four is going to look good together when those come in I'm, I'm, I'm excited for those you said the price dropped on the jaws the regular jaws 4k no just the old school blu-ray steel book that zavi put out oh, okay okay i'm like i, I, might I don't have a whole up. lot I don't have a whole lot pre-ordered right now. Uh, they, there is a uh, Randolph Scott like Westerns collection coming out. I think it's it's about twelve movies or something like that. I don't I don't know oh, if wow. you know who I'm talking about. Some of the movies are on the Indicator set I have up here, and um, it's just the Randolph Scott and Bud Bedecker, which is a B movie director, did a lot of West B B westerns and things like that. But just amazing stuff, but. He's got a set coming out here soon. It should be good. Uh, Randolph Scott does. So. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. You know, se September is a big month of uh, everybody, a whole bunch of stuff coming out. 
Yeah, I like the old movies. I'm not. I'm not like Charlie. Yeah, I like old movies. I like old, real old movies. So, um, that's I'm my jam. To, I'm trying to think. I have, uh, well, at least for me, for pre-orders. That's all. That's I'm soup like. I'm looking forward to some of these ones that are coming out. I I, brought, I told you guys I mentioned earlier about Demons Demons Two for Synapse. Yeah, so now yeah. I have to wait till how like around Halloween for that one. So I'm like, yeah, I missed out on the other one. But I also pre-ordered. Um, I, I thought I was going to sell out quick, but I think, I think there's plenty available. Is uh, David Lynch's Dune, and I got the oh, Steelbook yeah. 4K Blu-ray three disc super set. With all these yep. photos and booklets of like old designs, yeah. I don't, you guys have seen this. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the uh, air, the arrow release, right? Arrow. Yep. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't have that, that pre-order. That, that's gonna I that's gonna be a good one. Yeah, I was I was due to upgrade, and I almost did it last summer. And you know the, the ones that you can get on Amazon for like five six bucks. You know, like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyone would be an upgrade from the because I, I have an old DVD. So when I saw what they were doing, like the, the and once again, I, I got um, Ken from Mid Level Media put something up. I because I totally forgot that it was going to be coming out. So yeah. he put something up. I went to go buy it, and then um, I actually found that I, I bought it through um, Diabolic because that way I can get yeah. the um, U.S. for it, which unfortunately is closing at the end of the year, which stinks. I don't know if you guys, oh yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, cool. That stinks. Um, but uh, so I bought it from them, and uh, yeah, it's the the steel book. And then I saw the all the extra. I was like, oh, I gotta get this. But yeah, I, I did, re- did. I don't know if you're interested in this or not, but I did receive an email that one of the things they were going to include was supposed to be a brand new featurette. Like an oh, hour. Yeah, so, yeah, something got screwed up or something. So they're not going to do it now. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I mean, any yeah, upgrades. It's better still, it's, than... Yeah. Yeah. It's still going to be cool. It's still going to be cool. Have you, have you ever seen this? It's a, this is a DVD still book of Dune. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Very cool. It's like embossed. Oh, nice. At the back. Very nice. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm looking Germany's forward to that have, one. But yeah. this is what sucks about it. It's a flipper disc. Oh, those those were fun back in the day. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I have no problem with them. I, I, I've never had any issue with them. That's why, I, like, um, Serial Midnight, he used to talk about them all the time. So, yeah, I, I, I've, I don't like flipper discs. I, have. I, I said, I've had hundreds of them. I've never had a problem with any <laughs> flipper disc. They've always played for me. I don't. I don't know what kind of garbage DVD players he's buying, but <laughs> yeah. mine's always worked, you know. The the flipper the yeah the flipper discs are cool. I just no. bought one off eBay, and don't judge me, but I wanted I wanted Revenge of the Nerds Part Two because I already have one, <laughs> which I actually yeah. like that one, and it was a flipper disc, and yeah. I paid they 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 go they can yeah they're out of print obviously and they go for a lot. But I actually found one that was said it was like new and it was um, just under $10 with shipping and tax. Like new, right? There you go. There you go. Yo, th- yeah, it would be like mm-hmm. you and I took discs and went outside right now and just flung them towards each. I mean, it was so banged up. I was scared. I, I ne- I've never seen, you know, I tried to, t- I told you earlier, I try to keep my things really nice. This one, I'm not being like weird like that. Like this thing was banged up. I'm like, it's not going to play. So I forced myself to watch one all the way through and two all the way through to make sure it was going to play. So <laughs> luckily it went through, but that was a flipper do. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish somebody would pick up all those Revenge of the Nerds and do a box, a Blu-ray box. There's nice an old well. DVD box too, but yeah, yeah. a Blu-ray oh, yeah. box would be awesome. <laughs> I, yeah, they, it came out. Oh God. Actually, it might not. It, it may not have been U.S. It might have been overseas. Mm-hmm. Now that I think about it, it might have been an overseas release, but it was an old DVD box set. Oh, nice! But somebody's. I mean, Shout should pick all up those. Put that out. Yeah, all those should be a Blu-ray set. This one big yeah, set. It'd be awesome. Yeah, because I heard the but, Blu-ray and, for Avenger the Nerds is they they cut certain scenes out or something, and I'm like, well, I don't want that. Like, why? Yeah, why, why did that happen? 
it's those eighty con- those eighties comedies. They did some some raunchy shit, and, <laughs> and now they, they don't want to they don't want to spread the word. <laughs> they did some raunchy well, shit. This is never mind. It's it's a pie. I can't reach it, but like they've never really released a police academy set. They do. It's like, but it's like a Europe. It's like a re- region B. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, actually, it's region out. free, but it's like a region B release. But it's the most generic packaging ever. It's not any that had the movie covers on it. It's like this plain yellow box with like a really. Well, hang on a second. If you haven't seen it, I'll go get the ladder. I just saw this at a used DVD store last weekend. I know what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. It was like got it. it's three of them, like three, and yeah. they put like one through three on one or something. Yep. Four. That yes, right there. that that yeah, it's such a waste. Yeah, I yeah. I, I was like, that's so yeah. ugly. Like it's it, yeah, it makes no sense. Why would you? I mean, I bought it because I won the Police Academy movies on sure. Blu-ray. Yeah, I, but, I, should, you know. I, should, I should go get those if they're still there. <laughs> but, I'm so glad. But, but, I was going to bring that up. So I'm glad you showed that. because I'm. But like, how is it not an American release? Why haven't they released it on Blu-ray? Because you know, it's, gotta, it's, it's obviously be been a, transferred. It's got to be a rights issue. Yeah. yeah. That's usually it, what stops everything. That's the worst cover. I mean, it's not even a, it's not even a good police car it's almost like a kid's <laughs> drawing i'm so glad art. you're showing this yeah, i mean that's yeah, a, i really am I mean. <laughs> that's some clip art well, shit i can get online and get on google a free clip art yes yeah yeah <laughs> i was gonna tell you how horrible it was but there you go i'm glad somebody had a visual aid a live one too that was <laughs> yeah, I, I was right. like is this real like yeah. was this an on-demand yeah. one of those like on-demand jobs you can get on ebay like what what, what is yeah, this right I've had that for sure. It's been out for quite a few years. I, I I've at least had it for five or six years, probably. Yeah, that version wow. too. So, but nobody's picked it up. I mean, I, I just like some of those '80s comedies like that. They're they're not the best movies ever, but they're just they're hilarious. Oh yeah, you know, they got away with a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah but did. it's not they didn't get away with it. It's just you could do that stuff. Like I was watching 48, 48 hours, you know, uh, you guys might have seen my posts for 48 hours mm-hmm. and another 48 hours. Those yep. Paramount presents releases. And I mean, there's all there. I mean, there's the comedy, the stuff that Nick Nolte calls, you know, he's, but he calls Eddie Murphy in there, you know, many times. I mean, it just flies off the cuff, you know, and I mean, back in those <laughs> days, yeah. it's bad though. You know, you, you couldn't definitely couldn't do it now. And Walter Hill did both of those, right? He did one and two, so. right? I think so. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good director. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you had you had Forty Eight Hours, which is awesome. Um, Police Academy, Revenge mm-hmm. of the Nerds, uh, yeah. Porky's. Porky's yeah. is yeah. also one I really really enjoy. Yeah. One and two, not three. Three's one of them, but one, meat, I, meat, I like Porky's and Porky's too. Meatballs. Meatballs. Yeah. Oh, at, least, at least the first oh, very one. Very different. <laughs> Meatballs had some sequels, but the first one's probably the best with Bill Murray in it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You had the first one, you had the second one with the alien yeah. dude that came down. You had the third one with Patrick Dempsey, where the, the one's trying to the angels trying to Sally Kellerman's trying to get into heaven if she gets uh Patrick Dempsey laid because he's a nerd. And the fourth one has Corey Feldman acting like Michael Jackson. They're all they've all got their own charm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he legit in, in part four, if you haven't watched it, even if you find the clip on YouTube, when they introduce his character, he like busts in and dances to some like knockoff version of uh, black or Michael Jackson's black or white song. Oh God. It's uh, uh, yeah. I'll, yeah. It'll bring a tear to your eye. It's it's, it's well, he, <laughs> he, well, he went through that total. I mean, he's, Really, he never got out of that Michael Jackson phase. If you see him now, he still kinds of dresses like that. Yep. Like, yep. Yeah. Do you remember right. the TV show he had with back the reality show he had? Probably about, I guess it's been about fifteen years ago before Corey Haim died. The two, the two Corey. Yeah. 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 
I remember that. That sucks. That sucks that he passed away. I, I used to love their movies, License to Drive, and yep. and um, Boys, and Dream yep. a Little Dream, and Dream a Little Dream. I I need to watch that as an adult, but as a kid, I never did like that movie. It's it's really long. It's um. I just watched it a couple yep. years ago because it's been a while. And John, it's 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 it's. I didn't realize it's damn near two hours. It feels like it. It's definitely not one of their finest moments but yeah it's better than some of those other ones they did like the national lampoons ones that you know or dream a little dream too which i don't even know if that really even has a plot i always get a headache <laughs> when i watch it with the cuts in the camera it's it's, it's a mess i didn't even know they had one that's how oh. bad yeah <laughs> oh it's bad it's bad <laughs> um yeah play out cory uh, well my friend the true story Corey, my, go, go, ahead. go ahead no I just said Feldman, he's really good in um in uh the Burbs. That, yeah. The movie. That's an he's, awesome he's, movie. he's 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 good in that movie, and then he just kind of started doing that, started doing the Michael Jackson thing. I mean I think he's like one of those kids that used to go hang out with him. He I'm pretty sure he did, but I don't mm -hmm. know what the extent of what they got into. I, I don't think I, I, I never did his documentary ever come out about the rape and you know all the all the all the stuff in Hollywood. Yeah, he he um right right before right before we all went into lockdown. He had um for COVID. He had the movie came out, it was a premiere. Um you didn't learn anything new. Oh. You learned about Char like he accused well, Charlie Sheen. Oh, we lost Jody. Yeah. He's, he's like Corey Feldman's like Johnny Depp. I'm out. If I hear that. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, he said it, he accused Charlie Sheen again. And I'm like, yeah, we well, you said that he was supposed to drop all these names. He didn't. He didn't do anything. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was pretty okay. bad. It was pretty. Yeah, bad. I didn't see him. He, he was supposed to been. Yeah, he's supposed to have had a big documentary coming out and had a bunch of, bunch of stuff on pedophiles and things like that. But it, I, I guess, it nothing happened. It was. It was awful. It was available. Um, yeah, you had to buy it streaming, and then it, it crashed. Like you know, the servers couldn't handle it. So then he was trying to say that. Hollywood's trying to, you know, Hollywood's no. trying to crash us down. And I'm like, oh, jeez, <laughs> no, you're probably having server issues. It happens because <laughs> he didn't put it on like a big stream platform or anything. But I was going to say that my one friend, uh, one time, I guess, like uh, Corey Feldman is, I guess, if you send him money, he would take a picture doing a pose or something, whatever you'd like. And, you know, as long as it wasn't dirty. So my friend, yeah send him money and said, wear a skull cap um, and act like, you know, and, and, and wear shorts like Tommy Jarvis in, uh, in part four, when uh, Corey <laughs> Feldman shaves his head at the end of the movie, <laughs> he didn't do it. He just posed holding a, a DVD or something of, of, of Friday the 13th. So we saw his way out of that one pretty quickly. Is that, what is the name of that, um, that website, or I guess it's an app or whatever, where you can, or celebrities go on there and do stuff like that. Cameo. Anybody can do it. Yeah, cameo. Anybody can do it, but I mean, it's mainly like celebrities. It's pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. I guess some people make money at it, though. Some people like yeah. having a message from a celebrity. Yeah, sometimes 50, 50 bucks, 100 bucks for like a 15 second message. That's, um, man, that's, yeah, that's steep. Yeah. My one friend had a wrestler do it for, um, I had like 20 bucks and he actually, he actually did like, he said something for like, you know, more than two minutes. Like he really gave uh, him his money worth, which I thought was cool. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I was hoping Joey was going to be on. I wanted to also ask him about, and John, you might know this too. Uh, another pre order that I had was, uh, uh, true romance. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know if you've ever seen that before, but, um, yeah. Is it yeah. a 4K? Is it a 4K? Mm -hmm. yeah, I haven't even seen that. I I've been not. I haven't been keeping up really much here lately. I'm I'm kind of. I'm trying to slow down a little bit on all my spending, so I I'm trying not to keep up with it anymore too much. Yeah. For a while, just yeah. enough because I used to you know go to Blu-ray.com all the time and I'd go and pre-order like 20 things ahead of time, and then I'm just trying to slow down. Yeah. Oh. True, true romance is one I've been wanting uh, 
one to upgrade. It's, I, it's one of those ones I, I let my friend borrow a uh, DVD and I haven't gotten it back. So <laughs> when I heard this, and I love that, I love True Romance. So when I saw that was coming, um, I got the, uh, I bought it from Arrow UK and I bought, uh, I actually got one for my friend for his birthday and it's supposed to come out, I think in the next few days. So hopefully that will get here soon from the overseas. There, <laughs> there he is, Jody. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. The whole thing Look, just crashed. I'm like, he started well, talking about Corey Feldman. He's like, I, uh, I categorize that with Johnny Depp. I'm out. Yep, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> what did I miss? Uh, oh, um, no, I no. was going to say the last pre-order was, because you, you're a narrow guy, um, yeah. that I pre-ordered uh, True Romance, which I, I really oh, love yeah. that movie. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be and a good I, one. I was, I was surprised they gave us so many options. Yeah. But yeah, I, I ended up I got the limited release coming and then I also ordered the steel book because when, when they do a limited and a steel book, I always the those steel books slide right in those limited covers. Mm-hmm. So I love doing that. So yeah, I've got I got that coming too. Nice, nice. I should do I should do that. Yeah, I just got the um I just got the 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 uh the release, but I didn't I didn't get the when did they release the steel? Uh, it, it was all at the same time. You you had the option of just the steel, mm -hmm. um, or what was it? You could get just the steel, I think, or you could get um, the limited. But there was just like the regular. There was a third option. I forget what it was though. Because I, I know there was the 4K, there was the Blu-ray, but it was region B only. Yeah. And I think I picked up the 4Ks, but hmm. Yeah, I had a I had a buddy a long time ago that that sadly introduced me to the fact that a steel book can fit into their limited boxes. <laughs> and I was like, man, why did you tell me that? Now I gotta go get though. I did the same thing to RoboCop where you, you they they released just the steel, then they also had the limited, so I just slipped that in there. But oh, so much money. Yeah, it's, it's it was like the. The Jaws 2 thing we were talking because I, I, I do like Jaws 2 a lot too. Like yeah. it's not as good as the first one, but I don't hate it. I think it's cool. The, the Zavi uh limited edition steelbook, which is $28. And but it's the same Blu-ray release I have now. And I'm just like, uh like I can see myself caving eventually if there's still right. any left. And I'm gonna buy now the steelbook for true romance. So thank you for telling me about that. Yeah, yeah. If it's still available. more money. <laughs> if it's still available, definitely get it. The older yeah, still book yeah. was pretty cool. It was it was pretty basic, but where to put that? Uh, oh, cool, yeah, man! Let me see this. I think it was a UK. Yeah, it was a it was a Zavi UK exclusive, but it was very. It's matte black. Mm -hmm. But it cool. was it was hard to get a hold of. I think this is probably one of those ones now that it'll probably be cheaper once this 4K came out. But right. I liked it. It's got, it's got the good, the good in, embossed uh, framing, and the actual title is too. So it was, it was pretty cool. Oh wow, man, that's cool. So yeah, I'm excited to up, upgrade it. Jeez, Jody, you Did got you, like, uh, everything. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> I got too much crap, man. <laughs> I got too much, too much. Still jealous about that Evil Dead too. That that thing is uh, that's pretty dope, man. That's pretty it's awesome. Pretty, I, I think you can. That's the 4K version. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong, but you might be able to get the Blu-ray version still on uh um what is it? F what's that store? F not F Y E. Yeah, F Y E. F -Y -E. I, I think they still have the Blu-ray oh. version. F Y E, all right. I I, I think mm -hmm. I might be wrong because I know Zavi Zavi sold out. Mm -hmm. But but theirs was 4K. Um that's 4K. That one I showed you is 4K too. It's one. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. The version I got for two is 4K. Um, but yeah, that, that I don't know. If, on that thing's crazy. I, I can't remember where yeah. I got that one at. I don't know if that was if that was a uh, Best uh, Buy or yeah. that was a uh, or yeah. was that or was that a? Um, it was a Best Buy thing. Target exclusive. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was Best no. Buy, and it yeah. sold out. I passed on it, but it sold out super fast. Mm -hmm. And then randomly came back in stock like a month later, and then sold out again. I wasn't expecting to sell out as quick as it did. Didn't you like that version? 
the 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 one you have. Yeah. It was cool. I just already had. I've already got them already individually. Had yeah, I've already got the individuals. Cool. That's not. Yeah. That's not something I could really actually like double. I, there's only a select few movies that I double dip, triple dip on, if yeah. the packagings are cooler. But I, yeah. I used to. Yeah. If something was cooler, I'd buy it and sell off the old one. But now I've been hanging on to all of them. I don't know why I'm doing that. No. But <laughs> especially those movies, they've released so many different versions of them. Even going yeah. back to the VHS times, it's just it's it's ridiculous. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> What I liked about that one is both of them together. It'd be cooler if yeah. they had all three of them together with, with the that, last yeah, one. Yeah, that, so, that was yeah. that was one thing about that. I was very I was like, why didn't we include part three? I don't understand. If you're yeah. gonna do a still book, why why do just yeah. one and two? Just throw in three. Three was good. I like three. <laughs> Shout guess- out the rights to the Tarmy of Darkness, though, right? Is that what is that what did it? Because I know they have um that's available on their site. Uh, yeah, yes. might have different rots or something. It's something crazy. Yeah, shout, shout, to, yeah, shout, put it in their series. Um, I think I have that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they did that one. Yes, yep. Which is, I uh, I yeah, I don't know if it's still available, but. Has yeah, this? this deal sold out. I um I tried looking back in um around February when they had their sale, their Valentine's Day sale, and it was um uh, it was gone. So was that the sale? That, like when when they sent out the emails, it, they they pictured this one. They did that one time. Yeah. They had a sale, and, and it was part of the picture. I was like, for real? And yep. I went back <laughs> and I was like, no, we had like two. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I um. Yeah, I saw that, and that's that's what that's what drew me to the sale. And I was like, "Oh, yeah, it's out." Okay, so yeah, it's out of, yeah. Out of print. Did uh, did you pre-order all those 4K Halloweens coming? I did not. Yeah, I, didn't I was need. kind of. Yeah. I, I I was probably shouldn't have. They made it where you could pre-order individuals, and then individuals with posters. Hmm. And then they made a package deal where you got all five posters. One, two, and three came with a record. And then they made another package deal where you got all of that and a pin set. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> I think I pulled the trigger on. I got the one below the one with pin set. Because the one with the pin set, all that together was like $300. It was ridiculous. Right. But I'm I'm, anx- I'm anxious to see the 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 vinyls that they're including with one two and three. Yes, that was. The, is that it was kind of is it one big yeah. box set? Is it going to be one big box no. set? Like no, they, they yeah they, they uh, Paramount has the rights to six on, and they, they couldn't get the rights from them to do it, which okay. sucks. Maybe in the future, I don't know. I'm kind of ho- holding out hope. Maybe we'll get a 4K box. Like the they did a Friday the Thirteenth, that would be pretty awesome. Well, I mean, I guess that's only Blu-ray, but I'm saying that's that's still pretty awesome that they got yeah. all of them. I never thought that was going to happen of all this. I know, no, I was super shocked that they pulled that off. Yep, I need I, I need him to do it with uh Fry, not with a uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm-hmm. Somebody needs to put yeah. out a good box set. I've still got the old DVD box yeah. set that's amazing. Yeah, I would I would uh, like to have a I would like to have that on Blu-ray. I don't have I don't have that on any format. Nightmare on Elm Street. I have they, um the the DVD one with that comes with the bonus disc that's like the yeah. labyrinth you go yeah. through. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that that box man, it's incredible. I, that's that's one of the that's probably one of the handful of things that I have from like my original original collection before I had to sell a bunch of stuff back in the day. Because mm-hmm. it's just it's just too good. It's too good. It is. It's very good. I I know they have a Blu-ray that they put out with. I don't know. It's it's like almost like police academy. Like it looks, you can get it yeah. like anywhere, but I it's I think it's no frills, you know. So yeah, I, I, I want like something those, like the, yeah, it's in like one of those thick boxes or something. All of them or something like that. Yeah, it was. It looked like crap. I was super disappointed in that I ended up buying. Uh, I got kind of sucked into media books that Germany puts out, mm-hmm. and uh, they did one. Back in the day, they did a, B, a media book collection for Friday the Thirteenth, but I missed it. And now, if if you want to get them, especially one, part one and two, they're like stupid money. Uh, but I did end up jumping on when they released them for Nightmare on Elm Street. 
and I was able to get all the originals and I was able to get a box that holds them. Those are cool. Mm-hmm. But I still want a box set. That, I, I want a shout box because I know that would be amazing. Yes. And and I think part of me knows that I think once Kill, Halloween Kills comes out, I just I'm hoping I guess I'm just holding out for a giant. For, I mean, those are licensed to print money. Do you know what I mean? Like the Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, you do a set like that, a whole set, like the Friday set's great. So yeah. um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they can do something like that. You definitely, that set will never be worth any money because everybody got that set. Everyone. Right? <laughs> yeah. I, I never seen, I, people came out of the woodwork to post that on Instagram last year when they, they got, that got released. I mean, it was everywhere on everybody's page. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah I, I was shocked. You could pre-order that on Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, man, okay. I, I guess they learned their lesson from the Halloween <laughs> box set. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everybody was, uh, the, you know, the on eBay, you know, you could get, they, they had them like split up. Like you can only get so many films or whatever, but the, the DVD set, and it, I think it might've been like one, I, I, I can't remember offhand, but it might've been like one through five or one through six. And to get, get them on just DVD, that box set, like the only one that existed was, uh, it's, it's one that's like all black. It's like all black mm-hmm. and white and uh, people were selling those on there for like six hundred, seven hundred dollars. It was ridiculous. These sets. So now, when when Shout came out, I was like, "Ah, you should better lower those now, huh?" <laughs> yeah, I almost dropped money. <laughs> that 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 steel box they put out a while back. Mm-hmm. I almost dropped some big money on that several times, and I'm so oh. glad I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even Amazon, like right when when there was the pre order for that Shout Factor, everybody went and bought it. I waited, and I don't know why I did, but like I said, this never works out for me. And this is only the one few times I can remember it did. It was, I wound up getting it for like a hundred or 99 99, like two days before yeah. it was released. Like Amazon had a huge, yeah. and I'm like, is this the right one? Oh, all right. So totally. I should have held, I should have held out for that, but yeah, it's not really my thing too much. I mean, I like kind of some, some aspects of it because I like Godzilla and, monster you know japanese but did you see that big mighty morphin power ranger steel book set yeah. that they put out i did oh, i, I come yeah. a hair pulling the trigger on that but it was the original run series power the the original power mm-hmm. rangers the first you know the first season to however many the original run was but but it was like how much was it 250 300 bucks for it it was, yeah, high. It was, so I, I, it was yeah i didn't crazy. buy it pricey yeah i didn't i didn't end up buying it but I don't even know who released that. It wasn't, it was where I seen that was through Amazon. I didn't even, it, I don't think it was Best Buy, mm-hmm. but it was, it I'm had the sure. steel, the steel over steel, you know, it was a steel outer box and then had the steel books inside. So it was nice, but yeah. yeah. I don't remember. I really interrupted you about that. That's something weird, but I, you was talking about steel book sets. It made me think about it. Yeah. No, I literally, I think yeah. that, that like two yeah. days ago, I saw somebody did a, a video. That's, that's how I saw somebody had like a video where they opened it. So I was like, man, I don't know who pre-ordered it though. I mean, I don't know where it was uh, exclusive to. Yeah. yeah. I don't either. Yeah. I like Ultraman though. I like stuff like that. I mm-hmm. have all those steel books over there. I don't know if you're familiar with Ultraman. Old school. Yeah. Ultraman old school. Yeah. There's but Ultraman, it's like Power Rangers. There's just a ton of it. I mean, uh, there was more of it than I really realized. I, I, re- I owned the original series on DVD a long time ago, but they never did explore it any further. But since Shout's got a hold of it, is it Shout or is it? No, it's, no, uh, it's Mil- Mill Creek. Mill Creek. It's, it's Mill Creek. Yeah, Mill Creek's got it. It's Mill Creek. Uh, since Mill Creek got it, they've been releasing everything <laughs> from them. And I mean, it's just so much stuff. Yeah, so when they times. start when they started releasing those, that, that's when I was getting stuff from from Mill Creek, and I it was like every other week I was getting something Ultraman. I'm like, how much Ultraman is there? A bunch, apparently. Yeah, so many. I think there's like another. Right? I think they, I think they put out a new season every year from its inception. Uh, there, I don't I know. So. It's a bunch. <laughs> but Power Rangers the same way. Power Rangers started way back in the. You know, it's called Super Sentai. And, in japan but yep. 
it, it started back in the seventies, I believe. And it's been going ever since. Yeah. And like the ones that they did, the power Rangers are, um, was, I think that second generation of those, if I remember yeah. correctly. And then the super sentai. Yeah. And that's what I mean. When they started making so many power Rangers, I think that's why they had to kind of switch up because they ran out of footage and now there were new, <laughs> there were new uh, outfits and things like that. If I remember correctly, right. I'm not like a Power right. Rangers maniac, but I, I know yeah. my, I know a bit. I think this I'm might sure. be the oh. first, the first year for the Power Rangers in America this oh, wow. this season. I'm not positive about that. Yeah. It's one, it's close to it. But this was um, Super Sentai. I can't even read it. Hang on. Um, I, I don't even know. It's just okay. Zero Ranger. A complete series. It's let's that's Ranger. funny. Zero Ranger. Wow. But huh. yeah. Yeah, that looks like our it's pretty player. it's it's pretty good stuff too. Uh, I like Japanese stuff. I don't have tons of it, but but there is tons of it. That's what's crazy. Like like I can say, like, you know, Power Rangers and Ultraman, there's just so much of that stuff. I mean, they, <laughs> their audiences are weird, but I, you know, I like anime. I, I like a lot of anime, but, uh, but there's tons of it. There's stuff we've never even heard of. That's great. <laughs> that's never made it over here or, or you got to hear it through the grapevine. Somebody seen it somehow, especially in the old days. Like, um, I hear people talking about Akira, like, in the old days, the best way to see Akira was laser disc. When it first came out, the Criterion laser disc. That's how, and I think the Japanese, a lot of people would buy it just to watch the movie, not even be able to know what they were saying because that's the only way you could see it properly back in the eighties and early nineties. They were get, getting the laser discs of it, things like that. So I mean, anime's crazy. I mean, I. Some of it's really good, I mean, but some of it's real stupid. Like they, you know, some of it's definitely geared to adults, at mm -hmm. least an American adult audience. But some of it's just obviously for kids, smaller children. Like I never got into um, uh, Pokemon stuff like that. Same, same. Yeah. I think I think I'd I'd miss that. You yeah. know that. that I you know, was too. My age. I was a little bit too old for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Really Although for the I, Power Rangers too, but I can appreciate the Power Rangers for the you know giant robot fighting stuff like that, and yeah. that's what it is essentially. I mean, it, that's it's kind of that throwback from Godzilla, all the both that and um, both that and um, Ultraman are you know fighting giant robots. It, that's essentially what it comes down to. That's yeah, and I think that's what stuck yeah. with me on. I mean, I I totally agree, John. That's what that's why Power Rangers, even though I was a little you know too old for it, I still paid attention, and enjoyed it because it was that whole nostalgia thing. Like that reminded me of at the time, like Voltron and Transor yeah, Z, Voltron. and those you know they come together. There's there's five different people that come to you know they have their own vehicles that come together to form a giant you know robot to kill a giant monster. So it's you know Power Rangers. I was like, oh wow, it's like a live action version of. You know, Voltron. I wish I would have was a little bit younger to get to enjoy right. <laughs> to get to enjoy Power Rangers. Did, yeah, was, did you I ever was, see what they read? What's that? I was I, I was into Voltron. I was kind of disappointed in that Netflix cartoon that came out. I was like, I was really wanting that to be something. I was like, no, it did no good. <laughs> I agree. No, no good. I was I was so stoked. No, no bueno. I did I didn't yeah. like it either. As much as it pains me to say, I didn't like it too much. But it's, I mean, it is what it is. That's the truth. I didn't like it. The, um, I was going to ask if for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, do you guys remember, probably, I don't know, You pro maybe you do, maybe you don't, but there is this thing on USA Network called Night Flight that they used to have on, um, on the weekends and on Friday, this back in the 80s. And they would show all kinds of like experimental film. Do you guys know what I'm talking about or... I like so. It sounds familiar, but I, I I can't say I remember anything from it. So the name sounds familiar. Yeah, they would show like you know they would just show uh, underground videos and movies and all kinds of different independent stuff on there, and it was, it was like overnight. It was like from like midnight to six a.m. or something. 
So, my, you know, I used to like sometimes just like set my VCR, go to bed, wake up and watch stuff. And that's where I first found out about Power Rangers before Power Rangers was a thing because they had a show called uh, Dynaman. And they took the Super Sentai series and they had comedians dub over it. And it would, and a few of them were from the kids in the hall. So oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you, you can find them on, you can find them on YouTube. It's uh, you know, they're not even not, they're not even a full half hour. You know, there's only like pieces of them. There might be like 20 minutes total, but it's yeah. definitely what they're saying is not what's happening in the, <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, so when power, when a uh, mighty Morphin power Rangers came out, I was like, Oh wow, it's Dynaman, but <laughs> no one really knows what Dynaman Dyna is. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna go look at that right now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That good, good, really good cool. uh, martial arts sequences and stuff. I mean, yeah, it yeah. follows the. It's funny, but yeah, they, yeah, it's Mark McKinney, um, and uh, oh god, the other. One. I guess the two most famous. I think the two people that do the voices I re remember were the two most famous ones from. Uh, from kids in the hall so normally i would know them but i'm you put me on the spot so i can't remember <laughs> yeah right right yeah yeah i, I love all kids in the hall about it. i did too <laughs> yeah well I'm, I'm trying to think what's his name the guy he was on news radio and yeah he was probably um, the most famous of them oh was yeah, yeah Dave Dave. Foley. Dave, Dave Foley. yeah there it is Dave Dave Foley. Foley. There it is. yeah 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 Kevin McDonald is it Kevin McDonald, the one with the yeah. big bushy yeah. hair? Yeah. Yeah. Um Mark McKinney. Mm. Oh, who's the other guy? I see their faces too. I yeah. know. I'm in the same I'm in the same boat. I see all of them. <laughs> yeah. Scott something. Oh gosh. Yeah. I, Tom, Scott Thompson, wasn't it? Scott Thompson. Boom. Scott and Thompson. Bruce McCullough. I think that's his name. Bruce, I think that was his last name. Yeah. Yep. If you like kids in the hall and you haven't seen it, I highly recommend Brain Candy, which yep. is yep. Yes. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yes. That's, That's a good great. one. Yeah. yeah, they couldn't get away with that show anymore. Nope. You know, that show was no. kind of progressive, you know, at least for the you know, the cast members. Well, what's his name? He was gay and they did gay sketches and stuff, but mm -hmm. you know, but it wasn't you know, you know, you know, I'm talking about it, but it wasn't offensive. It was just funny. Wasn't mean spirited yeah. at all. It was hilarious. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a really funny show. That was a, that was a good group of guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I want to say that uh, they did a they did a mini series, almost like it was supposed to be like a horror mini series that they did probably back in 20, uh, 2012, 2013. Um, oh, no. on whatever Canada is CTV, but I, I think they're available somewhere. But if you like kids in a hall, you'll enjoy it. It's it's like uh, five episodes, like a five episode, four episode miniseries. Oh, well, oh wow! I haven't seen it. No, oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. I need to find that. Yeah, and it's not horror horror. It's more like a like a thriller kind of a thing. But it's it's yeah. it's it's funny. It's played for. It's not serious. Right, right. <laughs> has, has anybody watched any of the episodes of What We Do in the Shadows? Because mm -hmm. I love the movie, but I haven't watched the show. Is it any good? I I love the show. I love the show. It's good. Okay. Uh, the movie's great. I love the movie. Um, I think because because I love the movie so much, it took me a couple episodes just to kind of get used to this cast. But now it's great. I can't wait for it to come back again. Season one and two is really good. Yeah, that's I've, I've that's heard, why I've heard good things, but I didn't watch it. His, his movies are so good. You know, what Tata Watiti. Uh, sorry, I know I'm not completely Taco Watiti. I can't exactly pronounce his name right, but <laughs> his movies are so good. That's why I kind of had to dismiss his politics a little bit. I know he's a certain way, but I have to, do, you know, that's how I had to be with some people, some actors, and some directors. I had to look past what they, the dumb shit they say, and, you know, in public. So that's why I'm kind of weary about the Eleven Thunder. So because I have no idea what they're going to do with that. But the last one was good. Some people don't like that movie for some reason. Some people don't like Ragnarok, and I don't know why. It's like I've one of my favorite that. MCUs. Yeah. People, I've since 
since Black Widow came out, I've seen a lot of people doing like a ranking their MCU, and I'm surprised on how low Ragnarok has been on a lot of those rankings. I'm like, I thought that was like one of, that was a great movie. Oh, Ragnarok actually, there's some basis for the storyline. It's like taken from actual like Planet Hulk's what it's come from, but actually a pretty yeah. good storyline. So it's it it's I thought it was funny. It's funny, it's really good, and I I don't know. People just people didn't like it for some reason. Yeah. I thought I I, 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 I think I think what people don't like about it is kind of how uh, I I think he I think a lot of people don't like the ending, the way he kind of I, I don't know. I don't know why people don't like it. They they just some about the ending. Uh, that's what I've heard. Some about how he, I believe they think he's um, demasculated at the end or something. He's not allowed to like kind of possess such his true power or something. You know, I don't know. I don't know. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty know. badass. That was a pretty badass fighting scene to me. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't get that. You know? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't either. That's um no I I, 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 so, I listen, it's better than the dark world that was the most I felt like someone really was yanking my teeth out without I, I didn't like that one at all that was so and I like Loki and stuff too and I'm just like oh I, this, this is killing me. <laughs> like this is so bad so th- yeah. so that that's why I didn't see I'll tell you this I didn't see Ragnarok in the movie theater because that's how bad I felt about Dark World and my friend was like. Uh, like I watched, even though I watched the trailer, which I thought was funny where, you know, Thor is like, oh, he's my friend from work and all that. And I'm like, yeah, eh, whatever. My friend's like, dude, you got to watch it. I promise. I promise. And I'm like, oh, I wish I would have saw this in the theater. I watched it on Netflix and I was like, oh, man, I should have. No. <sighs> That's how bad Dark World scarred me. <laughs> and <it's>, I, <laughs> I went to see Ragnarok. See, I didn't mind too much, but it that didn't that didn't really bother me being kind of a dark movie. But it's it's not a, it's it's a per- perfect name for the movie because it is kind of dark the whole movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The whole the way it's filmed. So yeah, probably my least favorite. I don't know. Those probably might be Iron Man three, and Iron Man's one of my favorite characters. It's just that they butchered that storyline, the extremist storyline. Mm-hmm. That's such a good comic, and they just butchered it. It's to the point where it didn't even resemble extremists. So that's a great story arc in the Iron Man series, you know, and yeah, they didn't do I, anything I, like it. Yeah. I, I literally fell asleep in that movie and I've never, that's never happened to me before. <laughs> See, they, they basically give pepper pots to extremists. They give it to her. And in the, in the comic book, Tony Stark gets extremists, but, It'll, but extremist works with him, and it allows him to. Um, extremist allows him to um, control the suit better. Like mm-hmm. the, see so you know, that in in the like in the, at least in that comic book arc, they um, he does has trouble controlling the suit, but, but in, extremist allows him to have more biological interaction with the suit, so he can control it better. Because later on in the series, the scroll come along and they actually take after the scroll invasion and they, and they, um, you know, they scroll invasion. They basically take the shape of all these and replace all the, the superheroes and send them to like another, another planet or another world, like another universe. And they take their place for a while and they're like the evil superheroes. But like after that happens and they, they're returned to earth like Tony Stark don't have extremists anymore and he's having trouble again, operating the, his power suits, you know? So it, it kind of in the storyline of that, it makes sense, but it's just a cool storyline. And they, they kind of, and also it's being used. And also in the, there's this other characters that don't get used. Like I think in the comic, I think in the comic book, it was, um, the person who's doing all the bombing with extremists is, um, I think it's, um, crap. It's, I can't remember. I don't know if it's, um, I'm sorry. I can't remember. I don't know if it's PM, you know, the guy, the Ant-Man, I don't know if it's his son or somebody, but it ties into like this, 
ties into the storyline. Like uh, those characters are better well developed, and they just didn't use any of it. And then they 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 kind of they did the Mandarin the way they did and made him not real. Yeah, and, I didn't like that at all. Yeah, that yeah. that was a big thing for me about that. Really killed. I mean, I didn't think Iron Man three was easily the worst of them um i that that really sunk it for me i just i tried to look past it but i'm like iron man 2 is not yeah. very good either but it's it's better than three Definitely better than, yeah yeah no yeah. that's what i was hoping about three i was like oh man you know hopefully three will be better you know than two and i'm like oh wow oh. yeah two's a little bit <laughs> well you can't, you well, can't beat the first one either well, what's crazy is John Favreau, you know, he directed the first one and then he just sat back on the second two, but what were, but were in the movies and didn't contribute to writing them. It did. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that whole concept. Why they do that. It makes no sense, but he was in the movies, yeah. you know? So yeah, why didn't he cool. negotiate a deal where he either directed them or, I guess he's just got a big fat paycheck and he's like, screw it. I'm just going to sit back and it's probably John. I think, <laughs> I don't he did, know. yeah, I was going to say bullseye, man. That's, that's exactly, exactly what happened. I'm just going to be an actor and make a big bunch of money. Don't have to worry that's about it. the headache. That's it. <laughs> yep, as long as my check clears, I'm good. I did yeah. the first but, one. Nobody else is going to top it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cause he obviously, he, he, cause he's passionate about the material, obviously with like the Mandalorian and stuff like that. He's obviously about doing the right thing, but he's, um, I, he didn't allow that to happen. He didn't, he didn't pr contribute to the rest of the MCU at all. After making Iron Man one, the probably almost the best of all the movies, mm -hmm. you know, but then he didn't really contribute any, after that, he didn't contribute at all. So I don't know if that's a Paul Feig thing. I don't know. Paul Feig kind of shut him out and wanted to try to take credit for everything mm -hmm. on for, you know, I, I don't know. Yeah, you could be right. That's always what Paul, it's Because Paul Feig takes credit for a lot of it. And I don't think he's so much needs to be taking credit for a lot of it. I don't no. think he mastermind a lot of it like he claims he has because he's the stuff for here recently is not so great. Yeah, well, then if you mastermind all that, what happened with the Ghostbusters remake? <laughs> well, Where was his sorry, mastermind? sorry. <laughs> actually, actually, it's a different guy. It's Paul Feige, and then you got Paul Feig. Oh, Paul Feig, so, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I called him Paul Feig, but Paul Feig did. We, Ghostbusters and Paul Feige's Feige. <laughs> We've gone full circle with Ray Park and Ray Parker. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Ray Parkman, Paul Feige, and Paul uh, Feige. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the Ghostbusters, su it, what sucks about that is Paul Feige has done some good stuff. You know, he did like, he's part of, he's part of this, which is good. Ah, and Geeks and Geeks is awesome. Yeah. And you know, he he did a lot. He worked with um, he's kind of been that whole um, what's his name that did um, he did a bunch of movies too, a bunch of comedies. Um, Bridesmaids knocked up, knocked up. No, he did knocked up. Um, god, he's a Judd Apatow, Judd Apatow. Yeah, yeah. I think he kind of he kind of came up in that group of people. That's where he, I think, he got his power mm -hmm. and in Hollywood. So he had a good basic, but then they all just kind of went off the political rails and started doing stupid stuff. And then you come up with ghostbusters and it makes no sense, which I'm excited about the new ghostbusters. I don't know if it'll be any good, but I'm excited about at least that it was, it's done by Jason Rotman. And yeah, yeah, let's hope yeah. I really, yeah. that, that one really needs Destroy. to hit yeah. for me, at least destroyer says hi. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Just somebody, somebody called the destroy. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I totally forgot we're doing a pot. I mean, a, a live stream here. I thought uh, I was shooting, shooting the shit with some friends at this point, just talking about, <laughs> talking, <laughs> talking about movies. I just brought it in. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're uh, oh yeah, yeah, people are watching. <laughs> <this. Yeah. laughs> oh no, you guys are great. I'm, I'm having a great time just talking yeah. movies. Just <laughs> naturally, this is great. Stream of conscious, kind of. Stream of thought kind of 
discussion. Have they put yet. a new have they put a new date on that Ghostbusters when it's gonna drop? I don't know. It's supposed to be it's yeah. supposed to be last year, of course, but I don't know if they put a a date on I'll it. I'll look I'll check. look it up again. Let me check my phone. Hopefully they're, they're not, not going to try to make another one because all those kids are grown now. So <laughs> it says expected November eleventh. That's what it says okay. expected, but it's not official. I got you. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't got a new trailer for that yet. It's so weird getting these movies um, this you know far out, you know, from or COVID. The, yeah. On this such a delay, it's kind of weird. How uh, how packed was the theater when you went to see Black Widow? It wasn't it. It wasn't packed at all, but it was. I don't know how many people were there. There may have been fifty people in there, so it wasn't terrible. Yeah, I wouldn't see the IMAX too, so it was. Oh, did you? I thought about that. <laughs> It's just what was ridiculous is I, you may have, I don't know if you ain't seen that video I made, but I made that video where I did. I, I, I like to collect the popcorn buckets. Like they had the 10 yeah. popcorn buckets yeah. or and sometimes they had the plastic one and I got the plastic, they had the plastic cup and they had the plastic bucket. It was a big one. And I don't like that much popcorn, but I got, I like the collectible. So I got it and it's usually like 20 bucks or something for it, which it's, that's high, but I don't mind to pay that 30 bucks for that. And for just the bucket, for the, the plastic, the bucket no, the, the cup. cup the, yeah. And it was the plastic version. Yeah. Ugh. 30 bucks. And I'll pass. if it, they don't even charge that much for the 10. Like I, I went to see uh 12 mighty orphans a couple weeks ago. And they yeah. had the, they still, for some reason, they were trying to get rid of the Top Gun or the new Top Gun movie, 10. They yeah. had the 10 ones and they only, <laughs> they wouldn't charge them near that much money for the 10. And I bought one just because I was like, yeah, I want it. They may not come back out when they, the, when the movie finally comes out, they may not sell them again, you know, right. so I bought yeah, And it's a matter. Bucks. Yeah, I mean. So yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like that a lot better. Yeah, I don't. But I mean, that's, I shouldn't have done that, but you know, they already had the popcorn in and I was like, I'm not going to turn it away now, you know? Right. <laughs> no, uh, November 11th on uh, Afterlife, Ghostbusters yeah. 3. Yeah. November cool. 11th. I went to get yeah. my phone. My phone was dead this whole time. So I went and charged it since we first started and I just wanted to use that op to go get it just in case. Yeah, it, yeah. So it says here on IMDb. It said it, but it says on here expected November eleventh. So, oh, wow. It it probably will as long as they don't try to invoke some more COVID restrictions before then. Yeah, and scare everybody away. Oh. So. Yeah, no, yeah, November could be like a lifetime from now. Yeah, you never know. Um. Oh, well, let me ask you guys this: What movies did you see? Um. What was the last movie you saw before? The world went to crap with COVID. What was the last movie you saw in the theater? Oh God! Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm gonna see that. I liked I it. it. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. good. I was surprised how much I liked it. Yeah. I don't remember. Um, it was better than Birds of Prey because that's the one I seen right before that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm glad that, that wasn't yet. the last one I seen. So. Uh Man, oh, that's what I was. I've been thinking about this week, and I hadn't said anything about it. Harley Quinn in the new in the new Suicide Squad looks terrible. Her <laughs> outfit is terrible. <laughs> She's wearing like a dress. It's not even nothing that looks like Harley Quinn ever wore. Uh, you know she's gonna have like thirty costumes, so it's fine. <laughs> well, hopefully she wears something like one of her. At least let her wear that like black and white. I know it's a skin tight suit. It's not so much why I wanted to wear it, but that's just 
<laughs> you know, that's reminiscent of the co in a comic book, you know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Margot Robbie's hot too. So I, yeah, she I was gonna to, say, I know why you wanted yeah. to wear it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. Her iconic yeah, outfit. Because she was, yeah. well, she looked great in the first movie. It wasn't an iconic outfit, but she looked great. But <laughs> that first outfit was more you know, it's more iconic towards the comic book than what she did in Birds of Prey. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, she and they said Somebody, I heard somebody talking about her. They have so she didn't like wearing that because it was uncomfortable. No shit, it probably was uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but all superhero costumes are uncomfortable. What are you talking about? Yeah. Logan talks movie said sad, sadly the last one I've seen in the theater was Birds of Prey. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The Logan's Birds of Prey. John, you were Sonic the Hedgehog. Jody, do you remember? I don't. I, I remember being sad that what it was was what it was, but I'm trying to remember for me what. Oh my lord, what was yours? That might help jog my memory. <laughs> Valentine's Day with my wife, Fantasy Island. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and I've had I've, that's been sitting in my craw for you know like a year and a half now that that's the last yeah. one because we go to the movies yeah. all the time all the time and we just we saw that we were waiting for stuff to come out and then kabam yeah have you been yeah, uh yeah. have you been back since have you been back since not yet Haven't. not yet I'll, I'll say this i mean it's not like i'm like it's not like I'm scared or anything like that like i mm -hmm. i mean i miss popcorn i love the popcorn i don't care that it's overpriced it's you know, I love butter popcorn. I love I love the whole experience of being in the theater and all that. I, I tell you what I don't miss. I don't miss people being on their phones and talking. Um, I'm oh really, I, I, I hate it. I hate, that's the only, like, I love the theater guys from like just thinking about it. But I, that's things I don't miss is when I'm like, all of a sudden something's happening and then the big light comes up and yeah. I'm like, what, what, what what's going what? on, man? We're only in here for an hour and a half. What's the matter? Like, man, when we well, have you say when we went to go see uh, Black Widow Friday, mm -hmm. the lady next to me talked until it was time for the movie. Okay, so I, I was I was nervous, yeah. But she stopped. But then That's the good. thing that killed me the thing that killed me was after the uh, the end credits scene. Uh, she leans over to the people she was with. And she's like, "Did she die?" I'm like, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> "Why are you here? I don't understand." <laughs> But then there was, a, there, was a, there was there was a father and a son on the other side of my wife. The whole movie, this son was talking. The entire movie. I'm like, that's oh. not my kid, but I would be punching him in the face. I'm like, my kids know you don't talk when the movie starts. If you have a question, yeah. you just make a mental note. You ask me when it's over. But mm -hmm. the whole time that kid was talking. Oh my gosh! But that's, that lady that, next to me that killed me. Did she die? <laughs> like, were you not watching? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> where have you? What, is this the first Marvel movie you've seen? Is this, is this where you decided to start? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, that was good. Now, now yeah. what I was getting in the theater is, I don't know if these some of these newer phones do it, but somebody's kept like lights kept like flashing, like strobe. It was like uh -oh. strobing. Yeah, but some of these yep. new, some of these new phones do it, but I don't know where it's coming from because it kept happening during the movie, and then at the end of the movie, I saw somebody who it wasn't coming from, but later on at the end of the movie, I seen him open his phone up, and his phone did that. Is and I was like, I don't think my phone does. It. Maybe it does, but <laughs> I don't get it out during the during the movies so though. Yeah, like my much. my phone. Yeah, my phone doesn't do it either. But that's that's another thing that. That one that goes, uh, um, can't remember what movie I yeah. I saw, uh, when that was going on, like it was going on like crazy, and I'm like, man, what did you even buy a ticket for? You just you're not <laughs> even right. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> it's gonna be more nerve wracking now because ha half <sighs> these movies you can go home and watch them like they're there already. So mm -hmm. if, if you if you decided to pay the money to come here, then just watch it. This is, yep, yeah. I'm just, I'm saying between that, like, that's my worst experience. And then like, when you got to tell people not to and stuff, then it gets really awkward. But between that and the fact that HBO max and all of them have been putting them on for, I mean, I'm already paying for HBO max. 
Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like same with like the the Soprano sequel. I mean, um, prequel. Why would yeah. I bother Suicide Squad? To what? I mean, why bother? Why bother going? Yeah. Evil Dead uh, Rises that's coming out. You know, I love Evil Dead. It's gonna be on HBO yeah. Max. Yeah. Um. Um. I'm like I'm kind of I I understand why Disney does it the way they're doing it. How you have to pay for premiere access if you want to watch the movie. Mm-hmm. I get that. Uh, but yeah, I, it's going to be hard to choose when this. I'm I'm kind of excited for the new Suicide Squad. Um, I'm mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to it. But, but same. I can watch it right here. Like I've got a decent setup, and I can just watch it right here. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. And I know that theater is yeah. going to be full of teenage girls. So do I want to go deal with that? I don't know. I don't... <laughs> yep. <laughs> nope. You're, ab- you're absolutely right. That's that's just a big, you know, that's just a big thing. Yeah. You know, I can understand every now and then maybe saying something. You know, I'm not like everyone be quiet and don't move. I mean, it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, I'm not like that. But, um, you know, like I, I the <clears throat> Halloween uh, that came out. There was a, a couple that was sitting right next to my. Uh, it was the opposite of your story, Jody. They were talking the entire time, throughout. And I'm like, okay. Then the, the movie, st- you know, the movie started, and it was quiet. Then the the you know the the theme hits, and I'm like, oh, like here, yeah. And they started to talk and talk and talk until finally, like my wife had to like snap. And then they were trying to giggle and she, she got, she's getting mad and she's getting worse. And she, she's very, she's very sweet, but she just, you know, she doesn't want to be interrupted like that either. Right. Right. She was like, don't laugh at me either. And I'm like, Oh geez. And I'm like, see, this is why I don't want to go to, I mean, I just pay 20 something dollars each for us. Like I shouldn't be yeah. dealing with this. this is ridiculous. Nah. It's not a baseball nah. game or a football game. People yeah. yelling and cursing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why people go to an IMAX and uh, nobody was doing it in my theater, but you know, go to an IMAX movie and pay that kind of money and then don't even watch the movie. Like you're saying earlier. I mean, it's just ridiculous. People, yeah. people have such short attention spans. They can't watch a movie. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know if they yeah. just go to say, well, I seen that movie, but I really didn't see it. I couldn't tell you <laughs> anything about it, but I seen it. Yep. You know? Yeah, the part that was killing me about the kid talking was that he had a bunch of questions. And okay, I get it. You're a kid. You got questions. Yeah. But the dad was answering them. I'm like, dude, you got to just tell him to shut shut up. Just, just. <laughs> but the dad was like, oh, let me explain you the storyline real quick. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't have kids, so I can't really speak to that. But some parents can't don't know how to discipline their kids. It's one of the first things I taught my children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like we sit down in the theater is like listen yeah. if it's funny you can laugh yeah, that's fine yeah. everybody's gonna laugh yeah but don't don't ask me any questions just <laughs> <laughs> don't talk if you gotta pee nudge me or something he's like i, I, go, pee. I, I go pee that's cool <laughs> but now if they don't like right. it they just don't go with me that's it's, it's that simple i understand yeah yeah my my buddy told me that when he went and saw Terminator Dark Fate, that the the entire first half of the movie, this person, as soon as the movie started, started to explain the Terminator series from <laughs> the first <laughs> second. Like, so this Terminator <laughs> arri- arrives on, and he's like, really? Like, and it just it kept going, and it's you know, he's been getting a whole ride recap. Over here is- <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, you wait till now. You just went and saw this movie, and you're wondering now, like, what happened? I mean, oh god, and you went all the way through the what's that that one that Genesis? One? Oh, that was awful. Yeah. But the the Gen, I mean, I was like, are you serious? He's like, man, I'm not exaggerating. He he was gonna lose his mind, you know. So he's like, yeah, I was kind of uh, lost in the first half hour of that movie because I got a recap of the Terminator as told by right? a random person behind me. No. You know, Terminator is this weird series that I kind of like most of them. I, I, that is Genesis, the one with the girl from girl from um, well, whatever's the show on HBO, fucking uh, the the Silicon Valley. No, she was game of thrones excuse me i went blank for a second game of thrones the girl from game of thrones is that oh, Genesis? Amelia clark yeah, yeah Amelia i'm sorry clark, i was yeah. thinking of dark feet sorry john yeah yep 
Yeah, yeah that that one wasn't so good, but Dark Fate, you know, it's got its issues, and a lot of people hate it. But a lot of me people hate it for political reasons, and the political reasons I didn't really see in it personally. Mm -hmm. But and I know there's some soup things in it, the way they kind of demasculate Arnold Schwarzenegger's character and make him a wall or make him like a wallpaper hanger or whatever, you know, or drapes salesman or so you know it, that is stupid but i didn't have a problem <laughs> with uh i didn't have a problem so much with them kind of changing the storyline and making where the the old storyline didn't you know where it was basically shut down so they it just inevitably happens but it just happens under a different name and it's mm -hmm. a little bit different i didn't mind that i mean that's fine some people had a problem with that and i was like that's not a big deal you know and i, I thought there was cool stuff about it but yeah. But see, I, I liked also like the third part as well, but which people didn't like. I liked the third one as well, where they had the the woman Terminator who was. Oh uh, yeah, yep. I, but I liked that because it had that cool scene where, where the you know Schwarzenegger's Terminator, he's carrying the coffin and he's got the, he, he's got the mini gun <laughs> shooting the, the Gatling gun. Yeah. yeah. At the cops, that's such a cool scene. Yeah, you know, it just I mean, there's just cool stuff in them. I can find them, find in them, you know. And then the the one with Christian Bale is really good. That movie, Salvation, yeah, Salvation, yeah, that's a really good movie, you know. Yep. So, yeah, it's a lot of good yeah. acting in that movie. That 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 one was a good one. Um, did you all yeah. ever see the uh, series, the Sarah Connor Connor? Yeah, Sarah Connor Chronicles. Easy for me to say. Yeah, yeah. I, I never I never got into it. Right. I heard good things about it, but I never got into it. I I truly enjoyed it. I was um the only thing I didn't like was the second season. They I don't know why they they decided to bring in Brian Austin Green as if like that was going to help things and it just right. it didn't work out. They should have just stayed with the original 3. But, you know, huh. Le with Lena Headley moved on to Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah. yeah. So, but I, I thought it was cool and it was, it was the series finale of the time was only a season finale it would have been very cool because it's almost like, yeah. it was like a world without John Connor. Like that's things are still happening. So I don't know. It would have been, it would have been interesting, but um, Terminator is just a very, very, I just, I love how it was like part one was a, a like a horror slasher almost in a sense, right? Like a cyborg slasher. Yeah. And then it becomes part two, which is, incredible phenomenal you know action special effects extraordinaire movie it's, yeah. it's a very very interesting series terminator very interesting yeah love terminator i have the i have the first season somewhere it's here on blu-ray but I, I i can't i think i watched the second season but i can't really remember it uh was mm -hmm. it two or three seasons i can't remember two seasons two yeah yeah, I, I think I, I think I do remember the Brian Austin Green part, but I, it's been it's been so long since I've watched that. But the first season, though, I, what I remember is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. First, yeah, first season is very good. Um, oh, his name's slipping me now, but this Terminator they send back originally, he was in. Why is my name slipping him? It's slipping my mind right now. He was in No Country for Old Men. Um. Oh, it's going to kill me. But they basically, you know, they almost in a sense, I don't know, they're, they're able to like kill him, but then this co company brings him back and asks him a bunch of questions, but he's not programmed to kill just yet. It's, it was just, I don't know, it was just very interesting. I don't know, it was like a very interesting storyline, but oh my God, he's a phenomenal actor and I feel horrible that I can't even remember his name right now because he's done a lot of stuff. I only brought in No Country for Old Men because he's. I'm going to cheat. Is he, is he one of the main actors in that, or is he? Yes. I'm going. I'm going. You know, I'm going to cheat. Is he the? He is. Is it Paul? Something. Um. Is he the is he the villain in it? That guy is that who you're talking about? The Garrett um, Garrett Dill Dillahunt. 
Sorry, Garrett oh, Dillon. Okay. I've heard of. I heard the name, but I can't place the face. Yeah, I can't. I can't see a face with that name. The last name just, I recognized. He was just recently in Army of the Dead, but I mean, he's been he's he's always popping up in everything. Dilla Hunt is that his name? Garrett Dilla Hunt. Garrett Dilla Hunt. Okay. Okay. See, twelve years of oh, sleep. Okay. Real man. Yeah, yeah. Justified. Looper. Deadwood. Gosh, I don't forget Deadwood. Deadwood. Yeah. Like sometimes some of these people are in so many oh, things. Oh, that guy. Yeah. 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 That, that guy. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's cool. Yeah. I'm trying to think of everything else he's in. Like he's in. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, you. You're, 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 you're just you're, raising hope. Yeah. Have you ever seen Raising Hope? That's good. That's funny. I heard that's funny. I've never seen it, but um, I've heard it's very funny. Yeah. I probably see it because he's in it. You know, because I, I think he's a, I think he's a really good actor. Yeah, that uh, Raising Hope is um, the next series by the guy who did My Name Is Earl. And it takes place in the same universe as my name is Earl. So oh. they're kind of connecting universes if you want to go down that route. But yeah, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. I like my name is yeah. Earl. I didn't know that. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty neat because you know, sometimes because a uh, crab man shows up in crab man. From, <laughs> he, he shows up in it every now and then. And so, yeah. I, I like my name was Earl. That's a good. That was a good show as well. Yeah, that that was that was a really 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 good show. His uh, his buddy, um, I can't remember his name in real life now, but he lost he lost a lot of weight, like a lot of weight, right? Oh, yeah. Like he's yeah. like, yeah. Ethan Embry is that his name? You got it. Got is it, it Ethan? Em, is Embry his last name, or am I it, thinking another actor? There's it's e, it's Ethan for sure, but I don't know. Yeah, because the one Embry is uh, in what's it called? I can't hardly wait, and uh, I'm trying not to cheat <laughs> in the National Lampoon's uh, John's Vegas. Cheating. No, it's okay if you want to no, no, I'm wrong. No, I'm wrong. It's <laughs> not cheat? Ethan. No, I was wrong. Ethan Embry's he's the guy that's in Empire Records and that thing you do. Yep, yep, same guy. Uh, yep, um, can't hardly wait. Man, that kid's in a lot of stuff. Ethan, like Ethan Supley. Supley. Close enough. Same yeah. amount of syllables. I shouldn't forgetting because he's in Mall Rats and other Chasing Amy and some other movies he's in several Kevin Smith movies. So Jody, do you have I'm waiting for you to pull out the steel um season uh series set of uh My Name is Earl. <laughs> <laughs> what? I feel like you have everything. <laughs> what? I don't have that. That'd be cool amazing. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I wish. That'd I be awesome. Pull, pulling out these like awesome things. <laughs> I don't have that. Like I, I got Fraggle Rock. Oh well, there. Uh, okay, it's over. It's over. That's the Blu-ray. <laughs> oh, that show was crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jim Hansen. Jim Hansen. Did you um did you guys like um I think I've asked I, I'm pretty sure Jody's heard this many times. Did you like the the murder Happy Time Murders? Did you I like that movie? It. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Have you seen it, Jody? That was the It was the kind of the adult the the adult Muppet thing? Muppet, yeah. Did I watch that? I mean, the trailer had me cracking up, but people. I know. I remember watching. Terrible. I remember watching the trailer, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> it, it, be it, it was funny. It was <laughs> were, funny. I don't know why people. It got you know people talk about it the way they do. I don't understand it. It was funny. I think it's just because they didn't want to see like raunchy Muppets. I think that's all it came down to. They're like um, some people are like that. They just don't want to see like something see that they think think it's the beloved. And that's yeah. They don't want to see them. It had that. It had that one scene with the uh, with the one Muppet in the office just <laughs> hosing it down. If you know what I mean. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> but it's it's it's, it's like silly string. 
it's, yeah. it's, it's a yeah it's, yeah silly that's it's, that was awesome hey that that, that trailer scene i was howling theater? oh it was so Before. i mean i was laughing so hard oh. yeah i was like COVID. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It was just a funny movie. I, I, but that's the only way I can figure it. They just people don't like to um, associate things from like their childhood with things of their, you know, adult thing material. The, I, don't know. Uh, I don't know. Who was the who was the real person in that movie? What who who was like the main Melissa McCarthy? That's right. Yeah. Other people showed up, but yeah, she was like the main. There, there's others in there, but I can't remember the other. Yeah, human some, some other, in some it. other she, stars showed main. up, but yeah. Yeah, she was the star. I, yeah. I remember thinking it was funny, but I also remember being a little, a little let down. Like it was, yeah. Because that, because that McCarthy, idea. That she's that good if she's directed well. Yeah, if she's directed well, she's good. But her husband, she don't need to be making movies with her husband. Cause he's been making all that crap on Netflix with her and it's just terrible. <laughs> you know, oh, and I haven't yeah. even watched it. I haven't even watched it. I've just seen reviews for it and it just sounds horrible. That last yeah. superhero movie she made and the yeah, one before her, that, it was, was awful. Terrible. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I haven't watched any of those. That's who makes them her husband. Did they, they, yeah. they from prize me? Yeah. All right. They, they, they're making them because they got some big Netflix deal. You know, they're probably making big Netflix money and they're just, it don't matter. It's oh, like yeah. it's it's like the deal um, Adam Sandler got. He, you know, he all oh, the crap he's cranked out since yeah. he got that. They pay him a hundred million dollars, but he hadn't produced anything worth a damn over there. <laughs> right. You know, so well, I, I take that back. He had one movie that was all right, but I mean, for the most part, he. But if you they give you a bunch of money to your production company to make movies, that's what I do too. You know, I just make junk too i mean why why the hell not i mean the his, cause, his production cause, company was part of that last uh david spade movie that was on netflix wasn't it what yeah, was that probably. the other uh happy madison called? yeah but the movie was called uh, the other the other something it was a girl's name it was actually pretty funny was it david spade's the uh, star yeah and I forget the girl's name that's in it. She's she, she's been in a lot of shows. She's she's been a lot of special like special guests. But it's like the other the other Missy. I think is it the other Missy? Maybe it was actually a pretty funny movie. I was surprised. Is it Missy Pyle? No, that Missy. I'm trying to see what movie. I I like I like David Spade. That's why I'm I'm surprised I haven't. It was the wrong Missy. Of the name of it. Yep. The wrong, wrong. the wrong Missy. Yeah, it's actually surprisingly good comedy. I was, I was, I liked it. Oh yeah, the person from uh, the Spider Man movie, Nick Swarston. He's always funny. Rob, Sna oh, I'm gonna yeah. watch this. I'm gonna watch yeah. this. It's good. I, I liked that movie they did. It, this came out probably two thousand three or four. But Grand, have you seen Grandma's Boy? I've probably mentioned that yeah. before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's great. Joel David Moore is hilarious in that movie. Oh my God. I just seen someplace where they're going to, one of the channels is resurrecting Reno 911, which I, I know they had that resurrection for that app that came out like right when the pandemic started. There was some. Did you? I can't remember the name of the app now, but it was just like an app where they made like these weird, like little short. Yeah, it's like 10, 15 minute movies or something. Yeah, yeah. That, they were that on Quibi? that. Quibi. Yeah. Quibi. Quibi. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And they were on that, but I believe somebody else has picked them up now. Oh, so that would be great. Yeah, that yeah, would be great. So, oh, wow. I love give, that give, show. Them the give them all the money. Give them all the money. Please. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be yeah. that would be phenomenal. You guys have the state the DVD of the state? No, I, I, I wish. Would take it. Yeah, I would take it in a heartbeat. I love that show. Yeah. Is yeah. that an out of print DVD set right now? Probably. I'd be shocked if it was still in. If it is, let me know where it it's might at. be. Let me see. Uh, DVD, Amazon. I'd still be able to get it. 
Wait. Let me try this again. It says it's there. No, it's not taking me to. It's taking me there with my my apps. I think it's mis uh, coded incorrectly. Let me see. All right, so I, I just think I think that's an error. Hmm. We're all gonna fight for like the last copy somewhere. <laughs> no, I've, I'm, I've got. I'm using my I've phone to do this. Somewhere. I can't. I can't do anything for it. <laughs> you can get um, it Best Buy. But... Best Buy and Walmart has it. Oh yeah. Man, that show was great. Uh, I have all of them. I have all of them separately, but I I bought this just because I wanted them all consolidated yeah. in one yeah. place. But what's crazy about this set is they, well, it's two separate smaller boxes, but they actually went back for some reason and in each individual disc actually has the complete series on there. It's huh. weird. And they're not just, you know, remnants of the old set, the, you know, the old individual DVD sets. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, but I I don't know I I love the show so much so I picked it up twice. <laughs> I mean it's it's a phenomenal show. Yeah. yeah, it is. I mean I love that I love the state. Yeah. I mean I still you know the state was that one guy. It's like oh, I'm out of here. Yeah, <laughs> he never leaves. <laughs> yeah. Or was it Lavar? Oh, what are their names? He's like we're like Jello. I cook and then I chill. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd I get all that Jello? None of your concern, baby. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anybody ever like has watched the state, so it's yeah. yeah. It's Heck great. yeah. So you guys have seen show. it. <laughs> I have it here someplace, but I can't find it. It's some of stuff you back behind my monitor. Behind my monitor, I've got tons of TV stuff. I know I don't talk about TV a whole lot, but well, I do, yeah. but not a whole lot on here. I got a but, very, um, I got a very, very tiny TV section. Quantum, Quantum Leap and X Files. Uh, That's probably about it. I like British oh, British I TV love as Quantum much as Leap. Oh yeah, sorry, I just love they, Quantum. Leap. It's great. They show. put out a good. They, they they put out a good Blu-ray box set for it. It's a good. It's a good pickup if you don't have it. I, I'm gonna get. I have. Um, I have some of the scattered seasons on DVD, but I want to pick up the whole thing. Yeah. It's definitely. I think. Uh, um, our, our box in the U.S. is cool. There's a box in the U.K. that's even bigger. Like it, ours is more compact, but there's a box in the U.K. It's it's humongous. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind getting it, but I, I can't justify it just right now. Yeah, I didn't even know they released that on Blu-ray. I didn't I haven't even seen that. Oh yeah. So. Uh, I like to have it. Hold tight. Did, did you guys know this was a TV show? I remember. Um, I remember that it was a TV <laughs> show, but I don't no. remember much about it. Twenty six <laughs> episodes. Wow! So like a whole season. Yeah. I've watched some of it. It's all right. That's the Blu-ray box set for it. Oh okay. man! And nice. They just give you all individual. Oh, that's beautiful. That's I really love the nice. show. It's a it's a fantastic show, guys. I um I, I like the the series finale. Those one it was so sad. Like it was. Oh uh, yeah, I loved it. Uh, yeah, and it's weird. Like the, some episodes, it, they'll still play it on on uh, I think TBS still plays it or something like that. There's mm -hmm. still episodes that pop up, and I'm like, I don't remember seeing this, but yet I feel like I've seen them all. Yeah, I feel like I've seen them all, but like yeah, there's I guess just because it's been so long. That's funny you said yeah. that. Sometimes there was a whole like, like uh, there was a whole like this? two or three episode uh, storyline of like a female leaper that was doing the opposite yep. of what Sam was doing. Yep. I yep. Remember, when I when I saw that, I was like, I don't remember this at all. Yep. That was um I remember, and she had like an evil owl with her too. This like British uh, redhead. Yeah. Female yeah. That was like yeah. her her owl or whatever, telling yeah. her like what to do to like. Yeah, and you didn't find out until like the very end of the episode, and it was, and then it was like a whole like arc about. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they were. That's that's when they start. I think they were trying to do something to jazz things up because I think the ratings were starting to go down. But yeah, yeah. Scott Bakula, that's why when I always say he's a fantastic actor, has looked no further than that show. If he was so good in that, I, I like I can never see him play a bad guy. I always see him as Sam Beckett. Oh no, no, no. 
he's just <laughs> he's awesome. He he was good in Enterprise or the Star Trek Enterprise, the series. Mm-hmm. A lot of people never talk about that, but that's a really good Star Trek series. Enterprise, though, uh, yeah. do you guys know much about it? I just it remember was, it being I, out, but I never saw it. Enterprise yeah, I, I never, was like never, it was. It. it it what was cool about it, it followed the first Enterprise, so it kind of takes place uh, in. You know, maybe a hundred years past of um, for the movie First Contact, so mm-hmm. it kind of it plays off of that that movie a little bit. So it's mm-hmm. kind of cool. Well, the the beginning episode does, but then it's like, but it's basically follows the you know follows the missions of the very first Enterprise. So oh, you okay. get to see the develop development of weapons and things like, yeah, you know, all the development of things to come in the future. Oh, so cool. it's it's. So it's a pretty cool, pretty cool show. Yeah. That sounds cool. And he's the main character, if I remember correctly, right? That's like the captain yeah. guy. He's yeah. the captain. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. He Scott Bakula. Yeah. I don't know what happened to him, but he's um he's on like yeah. a top show now, isn't he? Yeah. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure he's on like a CSI, New Orleans or something like that. Yeah, is that him on New Orleans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that okay. show's even still on. Let me see. Um, this might be the last season because they have it where it's instead of saying question marks, it says t- uh, 2014 to uh, 2021. It might be. I, yeah, it's been on for a while. I've caught like I've never actually watched a full episode. I just know he's on there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was in Lord of Illusions. Uh, Clive Barker yeah. movie I thought was all right. Um, yeah, I've watched I've watched some pretty bad movies like Major yep. League Three. <laughs> <laughs> just because Scott Bagley is a great actor, you know what I mean? Like, right. just, he's 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 in good stuff. But yeah, it's uh, Quantum Leaps. Not not people don't talk about that enough. That was a really really good show. It really was. And that was uh, Mill Creek with that box set out. If y'all if you gotta buy it direct, I'm not sure if you can get it anywhere. But Mill Creek. I'm I'm pretty sure it's still it's still in print. Yeah. Let me look. Blu-ray set. I'm just curious to see. Let's see, Best Buy, Walmart, Walmart, thirty-five bucks, thirty-seven bucks. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't bad for five, five, five seasons. I think is what they did. Yep, five seasons. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Oh, I love I love that show. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to have that on Blu-ray as well. That's uh, another Blu-ray coming out soon is Bewitch, but I have it on DVD, so I don't know why I pre-ordered it, but mm-hmm. I, I I might end up canceling it. I don't, I don't know if it's worth it or not, but it's one that'd be kind of cool to have on Blu-ray, I guess. I like yeah. those old 60s television shows. Mm-hmm. 50s and 60s, I got a bunch of stuff like Leave it to Beaver and uh, <laughs> Father Knows Best. I've got that, the whole series of that, and just all kinds of stuff. Hogan's Heroes. Mm-hmm. I love those old. I love the old stuff. I don't know why. Sometimes you just get well. like you just get hooked on like old. I, I'm just saying. Sometimes you'll just see something. I don't know mm-hmm. if it's for you. See it as a kid and you just hang on to it. Or like I just started to watch. Uh, probably like a couple months ago, I've been watching like the entire series, and I don't know why I'm so hooked on it. Starsky and Hutch. I don't know if you guys remember what that is. Not the Ben yeah. Stiller movie, like the original no, series. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm almost yeah. done. I went all the way through. <laughs> yeah. First two seasons are all right. Then it gets a little, I don't know, a little weird, but I, I want to hang in there. Cause uh yeah, the first season's very gritty. But yeah, it's I, I don't know why. I just yeah, some of those no shows from the 70s. There it is. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rock for files. That's Great theme song. Like, oh, you know, I like the original Battlestar Galactica. There's Buck Rogers. I'm just trying to think of all those shows around like the 70s and BJ and the Bear. Yeah. <laughs> Sheriff Lobo, all those uh yeah. all those hour long. So much television. So, so much. Yeah. I yeah. I have some. I mean, I'm gonna definitely add Quantum Leap. Um, I'm surprised I haven't looked for that on blue earlier, but 
Yeah, I think I have ba- I have Battlestar, Buck Rogers, Ash versus Evil Dead. Yeah. Wow, that's one. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that's there. You go. That's a cool box. Yeah. Oh my. That's a cool box. They all oh, got pretty my. cool looking covers, you know. They got kind of the yeah, pulp yeah, yeah. Covers, you know? yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's one I always remember from my childhood watching that, or when I was Heck probably yeah. a teenager. Teenager probably watching that. So, yeah, that was a definite buy for me. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's drill chase. Somebody here said something. That glass shelving is dope, G. <laughs> Thanks, Gerald. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's sometimes with the lights, it's I gotta do stuff because the lights hit it, it messes messes up for filming. But other than that, it looks yeah, thank you. It looks pretty I like it. it looks pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not so much when you've got, you know, production lights hitting and reflecting off. But it looks all right. All right. All right. <laughs> Just play with it enough, it's okay. Lighting is definitely something I could get. I need to learn how to get better at. Uh, it's got better, a little bit better recently, but it's um never super great for me. I invested in one of those I just ring don't... lights. I look like a TikTok girl over here. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> ring lights, no ring lights are good though. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I, got... I, needed, I needed something for when I was taking pictures to post on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I was just getting, I was getting glares everywhere. So. Yeah, it works. Right. Yeah, I, um, I think this. I think the solution is just to completely bathe that area in light. That's what you yep. have to do. <laughs> yeah, uh, I finally, I finally figured out like, like I have one of those big, the eighteen inch ring lights. It was like a fifty dollar Walmart purchase. It wasn't expensive or anything, but it's nice. I finally figured out when I was shooting, started shooting some of my toy videos and I started figuring out for my, even for my movies that I had to put them at a, like an angle. And I put it like above mm-hmm. me and like at almost like a 45 degree angle pointing down at me. Now, when you wear a hat, it's not so good because it kind of, I get shadows here, but I, I sacrifice, I sacrifice the shadow for, um, it not getting a glare on whatever I'm showing for some reason that angle works for me. So I've mm-hmm. been having some luck with that lately. So. Just got to find that one position. Yeah. 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 Other than that, I don't know oh, much yeah. about lighting. I... Tales from the crypt. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Was that a yeah, DVD box? That's a good one. Huh? Was that a DVD box? Yeah. The, the Tales of the Crypt? Yeah. I don't know if it's been released on Blu-ray or not. That that would be Probably awesome. not. Yeah. That would be that would be pretty incredible. Some of that stuff is it's not necessarily a, a completely a factor, but when it's shot on videotape, it's a lot of times they don't you know, go through the trouble of putting it on blu-ray because it's just not a very i guess it's not a good format to try to upscale for some reason i, I don't really know the process because i know with the i was always a big fan of from the earth to the moon that series that came in the 90s yeah and um for years they said uh, well for the first thing they did with it was it you know it, it was shot in full frame the original series obviously in full frame and then in the early 2000s 2001 or two they re-released it the set on dvd in widescreen format and somehow they took the original and it was shot on videotape too it wasn't shot on film so they they took it and somehow widened the screen you know widened the aspect ratio i don't know how they did it mm-hmm. and then after that people were saying well they'll never put it in hd because it's, it was shot on videotape, but they put it in HD, so it's you can get it on Blu-ray. So it looks good too. So I don't know, but I, I do know it was shot on videotape. But they they do it all the time. But a lot of those shows were, a lot of, sometimes even shows that were shot on film back in the day, they would take them and transfer them to videotape for easier storage. So 
you they and then they would throw away the celluloid so oh, the i think I, yeah i think that there's something about that there's something about that on the he-man the cartoon they did something like that with the original masters so mm -hmm. that's it was shot they shot it you know i guess they did the stop motion on film but then they transferred it to videotape and i think they there's there's something to be in there that story about that that somebody i think somebody else knows a little more about it like um serial at midnight i think he talked about it once but it was it was some kind of weird um format deal there they lost the original format kind of crazy and once you do that you're like locked yeah. into everything um yeah yeah. Shout Factory was going to release back in 2009. There was a show on Fox when Fox first started and only had like two hours that they were running on local networks called. Oh, I'm. Oh, yeah. From uh, Liquid TV. Yeah. Yeah. I Beyond that, Fox, that was awesome. Yeah. That was great. Um, but anyway, they, they released this. It was Werewolf, the TV series. And I really enjoyed it. It was almost like um, in Incredible Hulk, so to speak. Oh. But. Good show, only lasted a season. They were going to release it on uh, Blu-ray and I mean, um, I think the DVD at the time. They're going to release it on DVD. Beautiful set they were going to put out. Well, I'm not kidding. Maybe two weeks. I pre-ordered it and got money back, but like two weeks before, they couldn't release it because um, Mike and Mechanics wouldn't sign off on using like the 20 seconds of uh, the song "Silent Running." You know that can you hear me that that song they wouldn't they yeah. wouldn't sign off on the rights or whatever that they wanted to pay them for that and because they did that thing you were just talking about john that transfer and didn't have the masters mm. to separate the audio yeah. they couldn't do it and it just would have just made the episode look all funky so the whole series the whole set got scrapped wow, wow. do you guys have um the married with children box set do you guys have i've, I've seen that stuff? it but i don't have it no Love Mary. Well, I, I mean, it's not like it's super high. It's not like great transfers. I mean, it's it's decent. You know, it's better than you know, VHS or something. But they um, the first season's got the theme song, but then they couldn't afford the, the theme song for the rest of the run. So it's got like this generic filler song for the. Just, <laughs> it I hate when sets do that. Yeah. Well, well. <laughs> Who's they the had buddies have that issue with uh, uh, "My Life" by Billy Joel? Even though they have somebody else sing it, they they lost mm -hmm. the rights to it over time, so they had to make like a, a weird other theme song that plays now instead, <laughs> instead of that on even even reruns, not even just the uh, not even just releases. But what's uh, every Gerald place? Gerald Chase Wilson asks, "What's every, everyone's most anticipated release that will be coming out?" from now till the end of the year. Mm. I mean, you guys know mine. It's mm. near dark. Hopefully if it's, if it gets me, it's supposed to be at the end of the year. So we'll see. Right. That'll be mine. Physical media. I'm not positive about it. As far as a movie coming out, I'm either the ghostbusters movie, as far as theater move, theatrical movies, ghostbusters or the, um, Well, I went Blake. Um, but there's another movie coming out. I, I'll, I'll think about it here in a second. You got go ahead, Jody. <laughs> Sorry, I pass it to you. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. thanks. I have no idea. No, uh, if we're <laughs> talking theatrical, I probably just because nobody knows anything about it officially is going to be the Spider Man movie that's supposed to hit in what December, I think is what they put it in. On oh, wait, that's movie. this year, yeah. Oh man! All right, that's my answer too. I didn't know that. I thought that was twenty twenty two. Love Spider Man, no, no. my favorite comic that's, character. That's this year, and uh, physical release. Man, this is this is when I wish I could use my phone. Uh, wow! I apologize. It, it was a Wes Anderson movie. It's called The French Dispatch. Oh, I've heard of that. Hopefully I'm not being, yeah, hopefully it's not been released yet, but it's, I'm pretty sure it hasn't. October 16th. It supposed to came out last year. It was supposed to come out last year. 
Yeah. What's October? October 16th of last year was supposed to. What? Mm-hmm. Um, it says here tomorrow, Monday, October. July 12th. I'm not kidding. Yeah, it yeah. says expected October 22nd here. Hmm. But that's what I'm anticipating. Uh, yeah, t- so it comes out. I'm sorry, John. Tomorrow in cans, I guess oh, they're going to show it. Yeah. And then October 22nd, like you. Hmm. Uh, I, I like his movie. He's probably one of my most favorite contemporary directors there are right now. I just love what he does. His, I don't know. It's Explain it. It says it's written by him and Jason Schwarzman and Roman Coppola. Oh, wow. Pretty interesting. Oh. There's Owen Wilson, Leah Sadu, Elizabeth Moss. Lee, I don't know if it's Leah yeah, Sado. I think it's Sado. I don't know how they, she pronounced it exactly. Yeah. God, I can't wait till it, things are normal so we have like one normal release date and things aren't. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, but it's Wes Anderson. Those are the main players. But it's got, of course, it'll have a ton of other people. It, yeah, it's got uh, Timothy Chalamet, Benicio del Toro, Tilda Swinton, Francis McDormand, Sars Ronan, Edward Norton, wow. Willem Dafoe, Bill Murray, Adrian Brody, okay. Jason Schwartzman, Christopher Waltz. Liv Schreiber, Angelica Houston, Henry Winkler, all, all these people. Yeah, they all these people are in that movie. Can you believe it? That's crazy. That's nuts. They'll probably be a lot of them will be just like just barely in it, but right. Yeah. But <laughs> they came on set for a day. Yeah. It's pretty awesome though. That counts though. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds that sounds I'm not, guys, I'm just being honest. I never heard of it. I was just reading that that sounds cool. That sounds very cool. I heard about it, but I didn't know all those people were in it. That's, That's awesome. you guys yeah. seen. Uh, you guys have seen Arrested Development, haven't you? Yes. The yeah. show. Uh, I was thinking about Henry Winkler. He was just he's hilarious on that show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to swing by the industrial district on the way home. <laughs> no, well, no the, it's like the red light. I don't know what they call it. I can't remember what they call it in LA, but it's like the red light district. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm just, I'm excited now. The Spider-Man movie's coming out in December. I'm stoked. Yeah. And see, we was, haven't gotten anything. Uh, we haven't got anything for it. That's why I was saying, I, I think I said something on Instagram the other day. I have a feeling that there there's something's going to happen in this last episode of Loki to involve the the uh, the multiverse because we got mm-hmm. a hint of it for WandaVision and it's going to be in Spider-Man cuz Do- Doctor Strange is in this Spider-Man movie and you got his next movie coming out next year and it's literally called Multiverse of Madness mm-hmm. and uh so I think they're waiting I think they're waiting for something to be revealed from this Loki show before they release a trailer Right. Cool. Yeah, yeah I'm every, gonna catch up on everybody. Just like, how how have we not gotten at least a teaser trailer for this yet? Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's I could have sworn it was 2022. I just looked at news too. There's there's fan art, yeah. fan post art that came out two oh, days ago. I'm like, what? Oh, like crazy stuff because nobody like yeah. it's like people know things, but nobody really knows things. And so I try yeah. not to get hooked and lost in all of it until I actually <sighs> see a trailer. Oh man. Well, I was going to say the um I was gonna say the Soprano C- uh prequel. I'm very much looking forward to oh, that. Yeah. But Spider-Man, please. Spider-Man wins. <laughs> Favorite comic character, hands down. Love yeah. it. Yeah. The Sopranos prequel, is it gonna be uh a movie or a TV show? It's gonna it's gonna be a movie. Um and James Gandolfini's son's gonna play a young Tony. So it looks um, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. I'm pretty. I'm pretty I was, excited. Uh, about I it. was. I was skeptical, but the trailer looked really good. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's another. That, that's another great show. Has his son acted in anything? His face looked familiar, but it could just be because he looks like his dad. 
he was in some I can't I heard somebody talk about this on a podcast. He was in something else, Jody. I just I can't remember what it is. It's something I haven't seen. Okay. So, but this isn't like his first gig. Mm -mm. I think it's like I, I think it's yeah, second movie, I think. Wow. Here, let me oh yes, you don't have your phone. I'll cheat again. There you go. I appreciate it. I try to keep this thing moving. I don't always want to rely yeah. on this, but I always I always <laughs> yeah. try. Yeah. Uh, you can see how bad my memory is. Mine comes and goes. <laughs> Sometimes I know things and sometimes I just go completely base. If it's a name, I just go completely blank. Sometimes I'm, I'm horrible yeah. with names. Why has everybody been on Instagram? Have you noticed some people's been, they've been um, posting a lot of stuff about fear and loathing in Las Vegas. I don't, have you noticed that like last week, I seen a ton of posts for that or, did they release something with Rango? Because people had like Rango comparisons, and then I, I couldn't figure out why they were so many people oh, were I'm posting having, that. Those you know. haven't jumped out to me. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. No, and I'm I'm on Instagram a lot. I um I didn't see that. Yeah, I, I've seen several people posting it. It like felt like it was trending or something on Instagram for some weird reason. I was like, eh. huh. I love the movie, but. You know, right? But um, do you guys like um? Did you guys like that movie, or did you like um any of his other movies, Terry Gilliam's movies? Uh, Brazil. Yeah. Um, Fear and oh, Loathing yeah. you mentioned. Brazil's pretty cool. Yeah. Tom Bandits, Bear Mom, Bear and oh, Bomb, yeah. Tom, Tom Bandits, yep. No. Yeah, I got the arrow release for Time Bandits. It's cool. It's a cool flick. Yeah. Jody, his son has been, um, James Gandolfini's son was in um, more than two movies. So shame on me. <laughs> but it was, <laughs> uh, the, he was in that. The HBO thing, uh, show the Deuce, and uh, Ocean's Eight, okay. and the boy, the dog, and the something else, the clown, which I've never mm -hmm. heard of. So. Well, that's good. Sorry, Michael. I Gandalf. was worried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's watching. He's that, offended. Yeah, he's pissed. Yeah, he he has not a, he's not gonna watch the G Cap recap anymore. <laughs> yeah, he uh um Kerry Gillian, he did a movie he, he he did a movie called The Man Who Killed Don Quixote. I don't I don't know if you've seen um he tried to make the Don Quixote movie like back in early 2000s with Johnny Depp, like after, well, maybe it's late nineties after fear and loathing, but it was, it was definitely when Johnny Depp was doing pirates of the Caribbean, either the first or second movie, mm -hmm. because in the Don Quixote movie is, there's a documentary they made about it. And Don Quixote, the movie's been tried. They've tried to make it like it's got a curse on it. Like it, nobody can make it. It always fails for some reason. It like, it never makes it to fruition. So, but he made and he did make the man who killed Don Quixote, but I don't think it's like a direct, it's not like necessarily a Don Quixote movie. It's some sort of like weird hybrid movie they made, but it's really good. But, uh, but that yeah. documentary, but it's pretty funny. There's scenes in it where Johnny Depp's like, they're like shooting scenes for the movie, but it's obviously just scenes are setting up to try to get investors. Like he, and basically it's just like a meet and greet for investors, but they, they'll be shooting a scene, but he's all, he's still got the long hair, like from, from Pirates of the Caribbean. He, his character almost looks just like it. It's weird. Yeah. It was really weird. Yeah. <laughs> but that was a good movie. And I'm trying, what I was trying to think of is he made another movie. It's a weird movie. I've seen there. It is called Tideland. It's, it's it was bizarre, which I mean, I know his movies are, but it's got Jeff Bridges. It's like him. It's it's about like like. Whoops, we lost Jody again. Oh, but um, 
it, it's weird. It's about this little girl who uh, Jeff Bridges is in it for the first part of the movie, and then he seemingly like goes to sleep, but he actually has died. But they're like, but they went out to the middle of nowhere, and they're living in this house. It's like I think it's where they're from, maybe, mm-hmm. and and um it's just like her getting into these adventures and but he's her but he's dead and there's all these like na- there's neighbors it's it's a it's bizarre i'm right. sorry i'm not i'm not doing it any justice explaining it but it's you got to kind of one of those movies you got to kind of see but it's I mean, worth I seeing like, but i like his style and stuff i would i would yeah. check it out oh definitely that's one out that's one i definitely would recommend watching trying to think anyways yeah. do we have, do we have anybody even any watching anymore like i said i keep forgetting yeah Ron. <laughs> yeah yeah uh, it says we got three right now which oh, is wow. it, it's been going up and down you know so we've we've probably compiled several people throughout the night and i've been i've been having a blast i just i mean it's a school night for me and it's it's like 11 15 so i will have to yeah i will have I to need to a little bit yeah i need to get off here soon as well <laughs> What what school not for you? Are you a teacher? Or? Oh no no! I mean it's just because it's not like it's not like a the weekend. It's just a regular. It's like oh, a yeah, joke. Yeah. I always use a phone. It's like a it's a work night. I'm yeah. Just like it's a school night. I got to well. Get see, I'm I'm on disability, so I don't I don't work right now. So right. Um, well, I would say for anybody so that's watching, right please subscribe to the GCap Recap. I would super appreciate it. Yeah, very much so. I'm almost at two hundred. So. That would that would make me very happy. I think that would be great. <laughs> oh, hey, Joey. <laughs> Joey's what's back. Joey's like, Wait, what's yeah. going on? I was, was like, that? oh, there's three people there, so I was. <laughs> I don't know. What's no, I would love to have you guys on the GCap recap. Or if I mean, if I you had it. as much fun as I did, I would I'd be honored and happy if you ever invited me to come back on. Let's do it. Yeah, definitely. This yeah, you great, can come man. back. Definitely. Definitely yeah. come back anytime you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Let I mean, me let me know. know. Whenever if you ever if you ever just want to do a stream sometime, because I'll probably do one this week with a friend of mine, Mike from mm-hmm. Dag Films. He's we're gonna do some we're we're gonna get on and talk about old movies. So that's both our kind of the thing we've been wanting to do, talk about old movies and I've got another friend that I'm going to do. Uh, well, you probably know him, um, Gary from Gary's Movie Emporium. You probably yeah, know him. yeah, I like Gary. Yep. He's been wanting to do a, a UFO pod, a UFO stream, talk about UFO stuff. I've, <laughs> I'm going to do that with him one night. So, oh, that's cool. I, 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 I have no idea where I'm going to go with that because <laughs> it's not like. <laughs> uh, I like the subject. I like reading about it, but I, you know, I'm. You know, I, I but I, I have I haven't really followed it in many years, so I, I just because it after a while, you know, you kind of hear the same stories over and over, and it nothing really got nothing's new in this in the subject matter. So I don't have no idea what I'm gonna do with that. I hope yeah. he's got some stuff prepared. So yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I mean that's be probably interesting to tune in, and yeah, like like I said, I I did my first solo stream. I, I haven't had anybody on yet. Yeah just because whatever but I'd, I'd love to have both you guys all three of you guys one of you guys whatever you know we yeah. could just shoot the shoot the shit and talk about anything you know yeah man yeah Keep yes, it I'm, always answering, I'm, always, I'm always answering dm just hit me up my dm you know what i'm saying well do yeah thank you follow <laughs> me back on instagram thank you yeah, yeah, yeah i'll be in contact definitely for sure well i guess uh you guys ready to get off here because i, I yeah, need to cool. myself I gotta go. yeah I had a yeah, great time. We've nice solid, you know, it's solid three yeah. hours. Thing bad. Nice yeah. Yeah. Fast three hours. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize what time it was. Uh, time flies on here. Whenever you're having good, you know, decent discussions, it time just goes by. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it was good meeting you guys in, in person. Yeah. I know John, we you talked too, a little bit on DMs yeah. and, and Joey is nice meeting yeah. you in person you too. You too, man. You too. Yeah. Nice meeting awesome. you guys. Well, everybody, thanks for showing up. Everybody who showed up and participated, I appreciate it. And I guess we will talk to you guys later. All right. Have a good night, guys. All right. Good night. See ya. All right.